was the Messiah in coming. What they thought he was supposed to do was not what he did. And when they were complaining, Jesus Christ rebuked them. And in his rebuke, he said that, was it not proper for him to come and to die? That was the assignment of Jesus Christ. Not so much as even the life he lived, but it's in his death. That is, and, and the manner of death, there was nothing about that man that was unscriptural. There was nothing. Every part of his life was scriptural. Every part. So you read some portions of Matthew, scripture writes that just so that it could be fulfilled, that he was uh, he was a, a Nazarite or a Nazarene. Scripture will say that he will live in Nazareth. So scripture will, will record that he, he lived in Nazareth so that it could be fulfilled that he was a Nazarite or a Nazarene. Everything about, 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 this, about this man Jesus was to the end that he would just come and die a very painful death. For scripture has, has taught us that cursed is the one that hangs on a tree. So he Jesus, so that there will be a what so in the in the old testament or in, in, in the in Genesis we see how the, the ark will rest on Mount Ararat, and you understand uh, Ararat means the reversal of the case. But you see, in the in the work of Jesus Christ, it was not a reversal of the case, it was a complete removal of the case. To reverse the case means that, oh, like, uh, that kind of back to sender system. But this was a complete removal of the case. So that that was a, a, a foreshadowing of what was about coming. So the best that the, 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 the best that the ark of Noah could, could show us was a reversal. Or where the ark landed was a reversal of the case. But in this new dispensation, what we understand, what Jesus Christ did, by becoming a case for us on the cross, was a complete removal of the case. Complete removal. So that's not a reversal. It's a removal of the case. Like, he became that case for us so that there is no record of a case against you. Unless you willingly submit yourself to it, there is no basis for a case to operate in your life except you willingly submit yourself to it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten that whosoever will believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. That scripture looks, oh, that, that's one of the most popular uh, scriptures. In, in our very formative years, children, one of the well, very first scriptures we, we learned, John chapter 3, the verse 16. For God so loved, the demonstration of the love of God was the giving of his son. And the giving of his son was not to give so that he would come and live a very majestic life. But the giving of the son was to die. And one thing I learned that in the Jewish, in the Jewish culture, when it comes to the, the role of fathers, what fathers do actually is to give when, when, they, when, they, when their sons mature. What they actually do is to, to expose them to danger. So when Joseph... The father, knowing very much that his brothers did not like him, still sent his, his beloved son to death. That also is a shadow of what was to come through Jesus. And in this edition of A Day With Him, we are looking at his crucifixion, his death, and his resurrection. And in all of these, in all of these, first beginning with his crucifixion, to, to completely remove completely remove the case that was operational in our lives. His death, so that we also, by the doctrine or the principle of interpenetration, will also die with him. So that because he died, we all have died with him. We all have died with him. And in his resurrection, we all will one day put on incorruption. Mortality will be swallowed up by life. Scripture says that in a twinkle of an, of an eye, at the trump of the archangel, this body will give way to the glorified body. Hallelujah. So in all of it, in, in, this, in this month, in the theme we are looking at, in all of it, there's a direct, so direct work of, 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 the, of these um, three, should I say, ministries of Jesus Christ, even for us as saints, in his, in his crucifixion, so that we also will crucify the flesh daily with him. Daily. On a daily basis daily basis we crucify the flesh 
we mortify the flesh. We yield to the spirit so that we will not satisfy the desires of the flesh. It is a daily affair. Because he did it on the cross. Because he did it on the cross, he gave us energy. He gave us ability. He gave us grace. Scripture says that of his fullness have we all received and grace for grace. Of his fullness. Of his fullness. The Lord has been too good to us. So in, in, in our prayer, we want to have this in our mind. That we are not praying in tongues because there is nothing to say. Well, maybe sincerely there is nothing to say. Because what, 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 what else is there to say but to say thank you to, to the Lord for having gone through that for us. You know, at the heart of the theme of, of this edition is an offering of, thank, of, of thanksgiving. It's a great offering of thanksgiving. Because in his crucifixion, in his death, in his resurrection, Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians 16, he says that if Jesus Christ did not resurrect, then amongst all men, we are the most pitiful or the most pitiable, as he gave to put it. If he didn't resurrect, then it means that all these things that we have been once you die, that is all, it has ended there. But because he resurrected, we know, it gives us confidence that life doesn't end here. By reason of his resurrection, we also will resurrect one day. So that th this life that we live, on a daily basis, it looks as if things might not be working the way we want it to work. And things might seemingly look a certain way. But we have this great assurance. The Apostle Paul writes to, to Timothy and he says that Jesus Christ, who is our hope, the, the person of Jesus Christ is our hope. So looking at him as an, as an example, we see that the sufferings may endure for a certain period, but there is glorification ahead. So scripture says that after he has gone through all these, the father has given a name far above. A name. He has exalted him and given him a name far above all principalities and powers. And at the midst of that name, as Lord, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that indeed he is Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. So our, our, thing, our, our prayer is not in it's not in a vacuum. It is established on on a very important important truth of the crucifixion of our Lord of the death of our Lord and the resurrection of our Lord I know that we have read these things many times but I want to open up our spirit men in this edition also so we, I know we've heard it so many times but you see one thing about the Lord is that there is too much in him for him to repeat there is too much in God for, for him to repeat any revelation. He doesn't need to repeat any revelation. There is too much in him. Too much. So the, the, the first Corinthians 2, he says that the spirit searches the deep things of God. There is so much in the truth about the crucifixion, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ that we have not even scratched the surface of. We have not. One day when we get into glory, we realize that indeed this body was a great veil to the truth. It was a great veil. Apostle Paul He's speaking and he's saying that look in in this realm what we do is that we know in part we prophesy in part but he says that when he that is complete or full is come then we shall know just as we have been known so look like there is a limitation to how much you can know because you are in this veil the body so we, we said that we see through a dark a, a, a glass vaguely or darkly it's because sincerely once you, have, you, you are in this body, there is a limitation to how much you can receive. That notwithstanding, we still want to open up our spirit man. I want to trust the Lord for a certain revelation. Because one of the things that he told us in this edition that he will do is that he will write this revelation on our heart. He will engrave it on our heart. The truth about his crucifixion, his death, and his resurrection. He will engrave it on our heart. The, the, the faith is established on, on these. Our faith is established on these. Take any of them out and the faith is incomplete. Then it means that there's a loophole. But he, he, he completed the assignment. So when he said to tell his time, it means that he had, he had completed the assignment. He was done. Then he said that into your hands do I commend my spirit. And he dismissed his spirit from his body. So tonight, even into tomorrow, or from tonight, even into tomorrow, we want to have this great assurance in our, life, in our heart 
that there is so much more that's available for us. There is probably too much available for us so that we do not limit the Holy One of Israel through unbelief. We want to open up ourselves. Scripture says that in a day of provocation, the Lord swore in his wrath that they shall not enter into his rest. They shall not. Then in that same Hebrews, he says that, Hebrews chapter 3, he says that, if indeed Joshua had brought them to a place of rest, then there wouldn't have been need for Jesus Christ to have come. If he had brought them to a place of complete rest, then wasn't, there wouldn't be need for that. But in, in Jesus Christ still came to bring us to the more perfect rest, the place of just believing in the word of God, believing in the truth of his word, and running by that same truth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you with me, people of God? God bless you so much. So once again, we want to lift up our voice. Once again, we want to lift up our voice. And we want to bless the name of the Lord. We want to speak in the language of the Spirit. You want to be in union with Him. Can two walk together except they be agreed? You want to be in union with Him by speaking the language that He gives. So that He it comes to Him as mysteries you speak unto Him. He is the recipient of the communications from your heart. Even as you speak in tongues, in the name of Jesus Christ, you want to lift up your voice one more time. You want to pray in the language of the Spirit.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Name donku nusiwo yema umo namla ate.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He took the fall and he thought of me. He thought of me. A man had hundred sheep and just one was lost. I will say that he left the 99 and went after the one. I was the one. He took the fall and thought of me. He thought of me. debt of gratitude you know we owe him our very lives we we only we we owe him our all everything that was done on the cross was because of us so apostle paul says that he knew no sin but he became sin trouble that had befallen man sin sin and apostle paul when he was speaking about it in romans chapter 7 he talked about the power of sin to the point that he said that i realize that there is a good in me i desire to do the law of the lord 
I desire to do the good things of God, but I see that there is another law at work in my members. That was the extent to which sin had destroyed man. And it had robbed us of strength. But he, God's perfect man, scripture says that sin there was no sin found in him he also did no sin and he knew no sin but he became sin he became sin he took upon himself that which had buffeted us that which was drawing us down constantly that which we had tried with all our strength romans chapter 5 he said that in due time when we were weak just in time jesus came to die for us so that we would receive the very life of god he became the case for every time man broke the law for every time man broke the law for the very first time that Adam and Eve broke the instruction of God went against the instruction of God the Lamb of God took upon himself the sin of the past the sin of the present and the sin of the future so that he became sin in himself that he would destroy the body of sin he thought of me above all and this is the mystery of godliness like a rose shuffled on the ground Man. Thought of me, yeah. God on earth, his, his ambition was to die. God on earth, his, his goal was to die. What an ambition! And all these were because of me. He did all this because of me. He thought of me, he thought of me above all. You know, we want to lift our voices in thanksgiving. We want to thank the Lord. We want to continue in this place of thanksgiving. We want to thank Him. Oh. We want to thank Him. Avele sovrata namai. Bele shevel no berkista na vagesha. Bela shala bale verige jeverke de lebeta. Bela fando rike jele brega de lete. Barana machel de berkitalia de lebeta. Imon de farmas de lejande. Hala jiberkine de lenale. Vala nava shele le menoye. Varkine le meno brege shalamalatai. Hala nava rada bashele na beta. Iman de rada bashai. Hala nava rada bajele brege de lete. Rada bajele brege de lete. Rada bashele de lebeta. Rada bajele brege de lete. Rada bala 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 Shalada, <laughs> 
Masha, Ayala Bragadaliata, Radama Shala Bragadaliata, Radama de la Bragadaliata, Radama de la Bragadaliata, Radama Shala Dalata, Radama de la Bragadaliata, Radama Shala Bragadaliata, Radama de la Bragadaliata, Radama Shala Bragadaliata, Apollo de Bata, Radama Shalia de la Bragadaliata, Radama Shala
Jesus. this scripture Romans chapter 7 so for Abby Romans 7 I'll read from here chapter 7 verse 6 but now we are discharged from the law and have terminated all intercourse with it having died to what once restrained and held us captive so now we serve not under obedience to the old code of written regulations but under obedience to the promptings of the spirit in newness of life what then do we conclude is the law identical with sin certainly not nevertheless if it had not been for the law i should not have recognized sin or have known its meaning for instance i would not have known about covetousness would have had no consciousness of sin or sense of guilt if the law had not repeatedly said you shall not covet and have an evil desire for one thing and another verse 8 but sin finding opportunity in the commandment to express itself got a hold on me and aroused and stimulated all kinds of forbidden desires for without the law sin is dead the sense of it is inactive and a lifeless thing once i was alive but quite apart from and unconscious of the law but when the commandment came sin lived again and i died and the very legal ordinance which was designed and intended to bring life actually proved to mean to me death 
I don't know if you are if you are following closely. For sin, seizing the opportunity and getting a hold on me by taking its incentive from the commandment, beguiled and entrapped and cheated me, and using it as a weapon, killed me. The law, therefore, is holy, and each commandment is holy and just and good. Did that which is good then prove fatal to me? Certainly not. It was sin, working death in me by using this good thing as a weapon, in order that through the commandment, sin might be shown up clearly to be sin, that the extreme malign malignity and immeasurable sinfulness of sin might plainly appear. We know that the law is spiritual, but I am a creator of flesh, carnal, unspiritual, having been sold into slavery under the control of sin. For I do not understand my own actions. I am baffled. I do not practice or accomplish what I wish, but I do the very thing that I loathe, which my mortal instinct condemns. Now, if I do habitually what is contrary to my desire, that means that I acknowledge and agree that the law is good and that, it, then I, and that I take sides with it. However, it is no longer I who do the deed, but the sin principle, which is at home in me and has possession of me. So you see, Apostle Paul is talking about how sin had, had grabbed man, the extent to which sin had taken over man so that even the righteous commands the command was spiritual it was holy but sin had taken advantage of it to even kill me to beguile me and bring me down so he continues he says that for i fail to practice the good deeds i desire to do but the evil deeds that i do not desire to do are what i am ever doing now if i do what i do not desire to do it is no longer I. It is, it is no longer I doing it. It is not myself that acts, but the sin principle which dwells within me, fixed and operating in my soul. So I find it to be a law that when I want to do what is right and good, evil is ever present with me, and I am subject to its insistent demands. Verse 22. For I endorse and delight in the law of God in my inmost self with my new nature. But I descend in my bodily members in the sensitive appetites and wills of the flesh, a different law at war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner to the law of sin that dwells in my bodily organs in the sensitive appetite and wills of the flesh. Oh, unhappy! and pitiable and wretched man that I am who will release and deliver me from the shackles of this body of death this is where humanity had come to this is where man had got into a place where he was to be pitied like a place of wretchedness so apostle Paul says that who shall deliver me? Where is my deliverer? Who shall, who shall take me away from this stronghold? Who shall destroy the body of sin? But in verse 25, he says that, Oh, thank God. He will, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So then, indeed, I, of myself with a mind and heart, serve the law of God but with the flesh serve the law of sin and verse 8 ch sorry chapter 8 verse 1 he says that therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus who live and walk not after the dictates of the flesh but after the dictates of the spirit family I don't know if you realize that which had befallen man you know, one of the things that had taken place was that man had been taken captive by sin. You see, so that what Apostle Paul was saying is that 
I had come to a point where deep within me there was a certain desire to even obey the commands of God so that at the point where even the commands or the law or the commandments had been given what the commandments did to him was that it kept revealing to him the sinfulness of sin so that for the commands or even outside the commands it means that sin was still at work but for the commands he would not have realized that this is sin so he came to this point where he had he realized by the instruments of the commandment that he had gotten to a point where he was devastated like he had gotten to a state where he was wretched sin had worked on him so much and brought him down and he was at a state where he was constantly struggling he said that i find a law that is constantly at work in me opposing that which i desire to do in my inmost being so that he desires to obey the law of god but there is another law at work in his members that is inhibiting his ability to obey the laws of god but thanks be to god for the lord jesus thanks be to god for the cross this is where our redemption was or this is where our redemption is but for the cross man was left with no hope but for the cross man was left with no thought of hope you know what he was saying there he was just expressing a state of hopelessness he said i am wretched who shall deliver me who shall deliver me but just right in time jesus came into the scene oh god's lamb so in times past they will sacrifice bulls and lambs and other animals but still there was a law that was at work in their members causing them to come to this place of sin constantly but it was all dealt with by jesus thank you jesus oh thank you lord probably want to want to want to thank god you know i don't know what else we can do i don't know what else there is to say but to thank him we want to lift our voices and then we are we are just giving him thanks and praise because he's worthy he's worthy he's worthy he's worthy i believe so much that if we would take the time to think through what amazing grace that has saved us would realize that our lifetime is too short to express the gratitude that is due him you know so this evening you want to in 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 thinking on him or in fixing your gaze on him and all that he has done would want to lift a voice of thanksgiving to the lord and i would i would plead with all of us to even be on our feet want, want to be on our feet you know oh we we really want to thank him this jesus this jesus like what he has done you know he did what man would not dare do he said that for scarcely would a, a, a man dare to die for a righteous man like it, it is it is in rare cases 
but he came to die for a sinful man like like you and I family we, we really want to thank him you see a lot of times we come and then you know it looks like it's the cross he has done it and we we know you see we've heard the gospel we've heard that jesus has died for us a lot of times and all and if we don't take care it looks as though oh yes he died for us thank you jesus it is fine we, we give you praise we give you glory and all and, and sometimes we are even doing it but we are not really paying attention to the extent to which this man has lavished love upon us oh apostle paul says that blessed be god the father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places according as he had chosen us in him even before the foundations of this world that we would be we would be called even into his son into the beloved well when we are even now accepted we are accepted in the beloved he said that in him we have the forgiveness of our sins in him we have redemption he has washed away our sins you know the extent to which jesus has lavished his love upon us is beyond measure so a songwriter said that it is a reckless love so that when he was dying on the cross there was no guarantee that when we have been spoken to concerning what jesus has done we would embrace this truth with all our heart because even john says in john chapter one that he came into his own but his own received him not so there was no guarantee guarantee that we would have accepted this amazing grace he was dying on the cross and the man he came to die for they were rather crucifying him they were rather bringing him down oh the man that he was dying for oh they stood and said that he should be crucified they were not ready to embrace him and to receive him family Oh, Palasite, we want to lift our voices this evening. And all we are doing is that we are giving him thanks. Oh, the Lamb of God who was slain even before the foundations of this world. Before you could think of sin, he had been slain. The Lamb of God had been slain. The Lord Jesus, Isaiah says that a body had thou prepared for me oh he became that body amen to balkis telemenai radaba selien eletai radaba jeletalien he became the propitiation of tele sheledeletes radaba jelebregadelietes apalamantaya radaba seimendo himele velke shelien radaba jelebregadeletes Rana ma chale brega daliyat, rana ma chale daliyat, rana ma chale da. And through much tribulation, oh, this Lamb of God purchased our our lives back for us, purchased our victory, purchased our strength again, purchased for us that which we have lost. He bought us back. He is our kinsman redeemer, like Boaz. He is our our kinsman redeemer our bella seletai when we had been sold into slavery like joseph hamelo saitalebene we have been sold into slavery we have sold ourselves into the bondage of sin i am pelianai radaba selieta radaba saladalata avala masheleta in due time our kinsman redeemer Showed up, amen. Kopalo atalada, radaba sheli atalada, like Goliath. Oh, the devil had tormented us day and night. Like
like Goliath, he was tormenting us. Sin had taken hold of our body, of our faculties. Our thoughts were constantly evil. He said God saw that the intent and the imagination of man was constantly evil. There was wickedness that was widespread because sin had taken hold of us. Oh, what wretched man I am who shall deliver me because I desire to do the law of God. I desire the law of the Lord, but I find another law at work in my members, causing me to subscribe to things that are not consistent with the things of God, causing me to find myself always thinking of evil, always doing evil. Oh, Palasai Canada, but thanks be to God through Jesus Christ. This has been broken. Rada <laughs> 
Jesus, 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 there is something about the name, Master, Savior, Jesus. Like a fragrance after the rain, 
Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth proclaim. Shall all pass away, but there's something about that name. There is something about that name. Risen from the dead, he is Lord. Yeah, every knee shall bow, every time come that Jesus Christ is Lord.
You know, in Genesis chapter 3, something happened between two brothers. You know, scripture records that two people, Abel and Cain, came with an offering to the Lord. And scripture mentions that for one, God had regard for his offering and himself. But you know, scripture puts it this way, that God had regard for Abel and his offering. But for Cain and his offering, God rejected. I looked at this carefully and I realized that Abel was just a typology of Jesus. So that, you know, Abel comes and offers a sacrifice. Most of the time we have, we, maybe in Sunday school, I don't know about you, but for some of us, how we were taught, we knew that Cain came with rotten um, and vegetables and things like that. But scripture didn't mention that. He said that Abel came with the fatlings of, of his animals and all, and he, he gave an offering. And Cain also came and then gave an offering out of what he, he, he had done. He gave an offering. And scripture did not necessarily qualify his offering. But scripture says that God had regard for Abel and his offering. And you know, in, in that context of scripture, there was no prior performance so that it would look like something happened and, and some, something took place. That is why God had regard for one particular offering and all that. But he said that for Abel and his offering, God had regard for it. And I realized that, you know, man tried to offer. Whatever man tried to offer, it could not reach God because there was one whose offering was accepted, and that is Jesus. So that the wisdom of Cain should have been that he, would have, he should have learned from the one whom God had accepted and his offering. But like Jesus, or Cain, like, like maybe the Pharisees and all, he killed his brother. So that Jesus was the perfect one that God was looking for concerning an offering. When, when man had fallen and all, you see, man had tried with his effort, but his effort was not enough an offering to, to bring him back to God. But Jesus, this man had been accepted beforehand. He was one that has been accepted so that his offering was also accepted. Jesus, Jesus was accepted by God and was accepted even before the foundations of the world. Jesus was accepted and his offering was accepted. Oh, this, this evening, you want to think about this and realize that this man, Jesus, did it all for us. He did it all for us. He did it all for us. There is one whose offering is accepted. And this is the reason why we, we can come to the place of being and um, um, having this righteousness that is imputed on us because Jesus' offering was accepted. You know, for, for Abel, he was killed. But when he went into the lower parts of the earth, all that his blood could do was to speak vengeance. So that the one that killed him, his blood stood against him. But Jesus, who was the perfect lamb of God, he was accepted. His offering was accepted. And the ones who killed him, his blood rather spoke for them. His blood rather spoke redemption for them. His, rather, uh, his blood rather spoke forgiveness for them. There is something about this Jesus. There is something about this Jesus. Oh, so scripture says in Hebrews that, that there is a blood that speaketh better things than that of Abel. The blood of Abel had, had a certain level of potency. It could speak, but it could only speak vengeance. But the blood of the lamb, the perfect lamb of God. His blood spoke redemption. His blood spoke salvation. His blood spoke life for us. Family, this Jesus is our all. So Apostle Paul thinks about this. 
yes and he's he's it, it beats his imagination so the only expression he can give is that this jesus in him we live this jesus in him we move this jesus in him we have our being oh malasite rana celebrate paladai Acts chapter 2 and the verse 36 oh apostle peter says this jesus whom you crucified god has made him both christ and lord this jesus oh this jesus he did it all for us and he did it all for us blood of bulls were sacrificed blood of lambs were sacrificed but they could only wash they couldn't empower the man to liberate himself from sin they could only wash but for a moment oh but there was a blood that washed the past the present and the future that same blood the powers of hell could not stand it that same blood the powers of the prince of the earth could not stand it oh melesai taladai that same blood oh the veil of sin oh palasantele could not stand it it broke the partition of the veil so that we could enter boldly so in hebrews he said we can now come boldly for this reason there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in christ for he came into his own but his own received him not but as many that believed and received him to them he gave the power to become the sons of God this Jesus oh Peter says God has made him both Christ and Lord the first Adam was a living soul by one man's disobedience sin entered the world but the second Adam is a life-giving spirit Scripture calls him the captain of our salvation. The high priest of our profession, of our confession. Genesis chapter 3 and the verse 15 scripture says that God said the seed of the woman shall crush your head and you shall cross his heel then the enemy began to move when he saw Abel he thought he was the one he struck him but he didn't know he wasn't the one when he saw Samson he went after him he went after the prophet he went after after them 
Arada but one day, one day, some wise men standing somewhere, minding their business, saw a star in the sky, and an unusual one, because a mighty king had been born. Isaiah says, unto us, a child is born, to us, a son is given, the government shall be upon his shoulders. Hey, Malataliada, it was God stepping down on earth. It was God himself coming down on this earth. Oh, Palasaita, without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness that God was made man. God became man. He made a pint. He stepped onto the scene. Oh, Malataya and the Antichrist began to move in Herod. Oh, Palawanana, he began to kill the children. But little did he know that God had hated him. God had hated him. At 12 years, he was in the temple teaching. After 12 years, he was not heard of. The enemy could not find him. Then one day, one day, a man was going about his business. Oh, baptizing people. All of a sudden, a man comes in the queue and that man is praying and all of a sudden John as he was going about his daily activity says that no there is someone in this queue that is unusual he says behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world then they began to move again he came through Peter, but Jesus saw him. A man do water, the letter, But he came through Judas. Oh, but Jesus, the Lamatelada, desire to fulfill the will of the Father gave himself. He thought he had dealt with him when they had crucified him. When he was hanging on the cross, he thought he had held. He had destroyed him. He had dealt with the Son of God. He came to him in the wilderness, but Jesus saw him. Jesus defeated him. Oh, Paladalata. But when he came through Judas, Jesus gave himself to fulfill the will of God. And the enemy thought he had outwitted him. He thought he had destroyed him. He thought he had truncated the agenda. Little did he know that the one that was being crucified was actually nailing the sins of the world on the cross. He was destroying the body of sin on the cross. So Apostle Paul says, we speak wisdom in a mystery, not the wisdom of this age honor the princes of this world, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Oh, Paladaliata, Radaba, this, his, uh, this wisdom was hidden from them. They said, for had they known, they wouldn't have crucified the king of glory, Amantaliata, Radaba, because I had no seen, no ear heard, no has it entered the heart of man, that which God had prepared for them that love him, and I called to his purpose. But this Jesus, when he descended into the lower part of the earth, scripture says, it is all principality. Oh, and he made a public spectacle of them. He made a public show of them, triumphing over them. Abel died, but the more resurrect. Abel died and kept there and was left there. But he said in his days on earth that I will destroy this temple and on the third day I will build it again. 
a descendant into the lower part of the earth. Oh, Panadalabata, Ranamalata, Ranamelata. And as it was said on Sunday, Sunday morning, Abaladalata, Ranameta, the enemy thought he was doing everything possible to Balabasaita, to prevent him. Alabaliata, a stone was sealed with a stone, a stone that he thought no man can roll away. He was guarded, Alabalataliada, but on Sunday, my Talada, the Redabeleta, just when the women were going to look for him, Apelualada, the Redabeleta, they saw that the stone had been rolled away. The King of Glory had arisen. Oh, Palaya, Amatoluada, the Redabeleta, and Adabalata, the Redabeleta, sin had been dealt with, death had been defeated. Elementoa, Apalabada, the Radabalata, the Radabalada, the Radabalada, the Radabala Bragadalia, the Lemetalia, the Velia Cola, Ayalama, the Radabasa, Apaluana Lata, the Radabasa, the Lemeleta, the Leneapa, Apalua, the Mandavarada, the Radabalada, the Radabala Bragadalia, the Radabaleta, the Radabalada, the Radabala, Ayapalua, the Radabalata, the Ya, the Lemecoya, the Radabata, the Leia, the Legalia, the Lemecoa, Ayamacoa, Ayamanoa, 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 the Lemeleda, the Radapala, the Rapalua, Ayamanata, the Radabata, the Lemepelua, the Legaliata, the Radabalada, the Radabala Bragadalia, the Radabalada, the Radabala Bragadalia, the Radabala, Ayala Balada, the Radabalada, the Radabala Bragada, the Radabada, the Radabala Dalaba, the Radabala Bragada, the Radabala Bragada, the Radabala Bragadalia, the Radabalada, the Sampa, Sayadata, the Banda, the Radabata, Sayala Bada, Sawala, the Radabala, the Radabalada, the Radabalada, the Radabalada, the Radabala Bragada, the Radabala Bragada. So the hymn is saying, Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my Lord, should die for me?
seated in majesty, seated in majesty. You are the reason, King. You are the reason. Yeah, see my 
Abodininara won't go to era. Abodininara won't go to eh. Abodininara won't go to era. Abodininara. Walk to Jesus Christ. Abadinara. Walk to every say wedding kuni. And you know, I'm saying, oh, eh, oh, in Yesu, onuni ene.
Nyanta, Ali Kapayaba. not the name. Somebody might be saying, a C A do, but maybe that's not how she pronounces the name. But whenever I call your name, yeah, yeah, yeah. you make a way. Your name is a strong tower. Jesus. Whenever I call your name, you come and make We 
If we say kaino nanka me akwa na api madime o Yesu nya na me ba no pae wa ba be me oba sa ye yesu nsio yesu nya na me ba Insiana midi makuma nina be bedo wo wo na uye nasa bebe wo ya simonsu midi makuma nina be bedo wo wo na uye ei ure midi makuma. Nina be da wo wo na wuye me kwa ah sasire me de makuma nina be da wo wo na wuye me kwa nya sabebe wo seria simunsu me de makuma nina be ebe da wo shall we render what shall we give in exchange better than honey because I've seen that you have been stung by bees for me. <laughs> you would have even chosen to be to be stung by bees for me so you are better than honey. You are better than wine because I know you wouldn't have minded to be pressed like grapes for me. Hey, you'll be better than wine because I know you wouldn't have you wouldn't have even waited a second. To be pressed like grapes for me. Ah, you are better than perfume because I have seen the olives. Ah, and these olives, you wouldn't have minded to go through the mill to become this perfume for me. Makoto Usan Asochi Bimo Abe Meuchi. Can you lift up your voice tonight? Oh. Oh, Jesus.
And now Jesus Christ, can you wave your hands? Jesus, can you please wave your hands? Jesus Christ. And I Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. And they able to me to a cover as I say no. If we Jordan and I could see a poor no, a mudata, Baba Modi, a see a qua. They forgot to we have the line of Judah, O Namiara, Dinkuni, Yebe to me, it's to a cover as I say no. Every Jordan and I could see. Can you wave your hands like like you don't know it belongs to you? about it this way. Imagine you had no arm. Can you give me a minute? Imagine you had no arm. And suddenly Jesus came and then your arm just shot out. Wedding kuni I'm an sorry Yeah No, no, have you seen my hand? Wedding kuni And walk on the Sabbath. And he said, Well, I don't know. All I know is that the person who healed me is the same that asked me to pick my mat. Wedding Kuni. I'm an sorry. So he that to whom my arm was not there, then suddenly this arm popped out. And I have you seen my hand? Wedding Kuni. Hey, I'm Hey, hey, 
Before I take my leave tonight, I feel so strongly in my spirit to share this. And I'll just sing the song again. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will address whoever or whatever it is. Say it to me. It's a copper assassin. Every Jordan is a cosy a poano. A mujata, pepper modi. Yes, he will wine yet. Onya miara, dinkuli. Give it to me, it's a copper assassin. Every Jordan is a cosy a poano. Yes, you won't cry. I need on a mirror. If he said, Why quentin kunim? Oh, dear, said ye, a manima. Wa kwedi kuni Odia setie amanema Galilea that's the only reason. Every Jordan I go see a poor one, we will surely get there. Emo be fu emo jata emo nyama be sisi yangu ni onyamira ikuni. Hallelujah. Ikuni every rati.
Sumo. Ah. What ya wa ya ma ya rati? Up the name of the Lord. Yehovah, niwuti kasi, ati asifu nyami, eni erbadiye. Who ni minya kopo 
When you be on open here to me, to man, oh, when to me, no.
to give this announcement we have seen rich people amazing people said to me nyinara eye wo te nyami to me nyinara eye wo te You see, oh. Oh, Grandma Say. Nana, Nana, you were at his soul. 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 Every second count. Let every second count. Hey, Oh, 
your suru ya wuti asasi e ya wuti oyin ibi ya do you remember these songs asuru ya wuti asasi e ya wuti Tony Fatawo, Tiwo, 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 Can you lift up your voice and if you could speak in the Holy Spirit? Kapala no no me kofale me yata yata ya. Rapa na ma kofan te na ma yata. Ibali yata ndela na me kofan te me kopai. Rapa ntum pinti mai.
this one
Congregation only. It is an anthem of the spirit. This song is. I'm 
enjoying it. God demonstrated his love that at the right time at the appropriate time he came to die this is the way this is the you find me I'm enjoying this Lord See, when you get to that place where it so feels like you are done with God and yet there is a hug for you this is the way Father Are you not amazed that who the father loves, he chastises? Are, are you not blown away? That actually God became man. God became man. Even you wicked men, you know how to give good gifts to your sons. In that they ask for bread and you don't give them stone. They ask for fish and you do not give them a serpent. How much more? Your father who is in heaven. Will he not give the Holy Ghost? to those who ask. This is the way, this is the way you found me. I love the way. This is the way you found me. This is the way with a script of explanation then he says that put it somewhere if any man is in Christ he's a new creation the old is past behold all have become new wherefore the Lord was in Christ reconciling the world to himself not counting the sins against them but look at what he does he entrusts unto us the ministry of reconciliation oh this is the way you find me. Think about the Father's love in just a minute, and I would wrap up. This is the way you found me. I love what you are doing, Lord. Don't stop. Bernard is enjoying it. Don't stop. Don't stop, Lord. Don't stop, Lord. This is the way I love the way This is the way I love the way you find me. If this is the way you find me, when alarm fail, you do not fail. When men fail, you do not fail. Even in our unfaithfulness, you remain faithful. This 
song is unto you, Lord. This is the way, Father. I'm not a bastard. This is the way you father me. I love the way you father me. If this is the way you father me, I'm enjoying it, Lord. I'm enjoying it, Lord. If this is the way. calling us brothers thy creator has become thine husband the lord of hosts is his name strongest of us is the one who has been helped the most by God that's that's the truth you see many of the people who became atheist many of them it was realized that they were not fathered they are they are earthly fathers left them many of them so they they cannot fathom the love of the almighty god but you see when jesus was leaving he said i'll not leave you as orphans see we have a father in luke chapter 11 when Jesus was asked to teach them to pray, he says, when you pray, say this, our Father. Apostle Paul got a glimpse of it and now said that it's in him we live. It's in him we move. And it's in him we have our being. You see, as we stand here like this, very unassuming but girl boy we are loved see we are loved we are loved we are loved we are loved we are dearly loved 
For a righteous man, somebody would dare try to die. John Newton says that it's an amazing grace that saves a wretch, a wretch like me. See, we are loved. We are loved. You see, one interesting thing about the scripture in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15, where scripture said that <laughs> your seed, the seed of the woman, shall crush the head of the serpent. And he said that the, the seed of the serpent or the serpent would, would strike the heel. Do you know something? It is a serious statement to make when a man comes to a place and say that the seed of a woman, women don't have seed. You see, it is, it is the same word that we get the, the word sperm from. It's like saying that the sperm of a woman. So you see, amazingly, any time in scripture, the devil thought, actually, that it was, it was Abel. Any time somebody came onto the scene and started demonstrating an extraordinary trait, the enemy always went after them. Because all this while, he has been looking for that particular prophecy. But Micah made a profound statement. When he mentions that the truth is that a virgin shall conceive. So there was going to be a woman who was going to push a child. That was not as a result of the sperm of a man. And the Bible said that he was going to crush the head of the serpent. Do you understand it? He's going to take his lordship from him. He's going to take his authority from him. So on the cross, what you saw there, he was actually striking his heel. But thank God for Colossians chapter 2 and verse 15. Having disarmed principalities and powers, do you know what he did? He made a public spectacle of them. Triumphing over them. See, it, it was not a secret defeat. He nailed it. So scripture can ask that all oh, death. Where is thy victory? Oh grave, where is thy sting? Where is it? They were amazed. When he actually said that even Abraham longed to see his day. And you know how they interpreted it. They said that you, this, you are not even up to 50 years. And you are saying Abraham wanted to see. And you are saying that you wanted to, you, you met Abraham. They didn't even listen to him. He didn't say he wanted to see Abraham. He said Abraham wanted to see him. Oh. Call my attack. See, you see, the deity of Christ and the humanity of Christ must actually be, be explained to us thoroughly because both are essential for the salvation story. Praise God. Praise God. How was, going, how was God going to forgive men without lowering his standards? Because the foundation of his throne is righteousness and justice. If for any day there is an iota of unrighteousness in him or injustice in him, then he loses his throne. <laughs> that is why I say that don't take the love of God to mean God lowered his standards. <laughs> don't take the cross to mean that God compromised. No, 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 no. No. He was going to be 100% God and yet 100% man. So he was going to be man and yet would not lose his essence of being God. So he would tell them, ah, 
how long would I live with you that you will not even know me? Do you not know that anybody that has seen me has actually seen the Father? So Paul in Philippians chapter 2 will tell us, even though he was equal with God, he didn't count equality with God as anything to be grasped. He emptied himself of every kind of glory and came, came in the form of a man. He lowered himself unto death as far as the shameful nauseating death on the cross. Wherefore, God also exalted him I think that we have, we have not hit certain notes of the crucifixion, the death, and the resurrection of Christ. I'm being very honest with us. We have done Easter celebrations, but if we come to the nitty-gritty of, nitty of what is done for us, we'll be humbled. When the woman broke the alabaster box, do you know what Jesus had to say? That the one that has been forgiven much, loves much do you understand it when you come to a place of the comprehension of God's love extended to you there are things you can't do you'll be amazed that so he went this extent for us on the cross when he screamed the centurion said that of a truth this is the son of God why per their calculation but what they put him through, he shouldn't have even have arrived at the cross alive. But family, the chastisement for our peace was laid on him. So do you know the symbol of our faith? You might think that every time when you come and see the cross here, we are doing deco. No, we are sending a message. It's very deliberate. Praise God. It's very deliberate. Can, can you zoom out a little? Between myself and the cross, if they even see the cross, it's better. Praise God. Because the preaching of this, for the Greeks, it is foolishness. Do you know why? They, they are looking for a certain superman. So, so the superstar of the story should not be the one on the weakest here, naked. So it is foolishness to them. Some of them are still waiting for the first coming. Because they are waiting for a certain strange being. But he lowered himself even in a manger. Family, we have a story to tell. You see, we have preached many things. They are just the icing on the cake. There is the actual cake. Oh, have you not read in Acts chapter 4 verse 12? That there is no other name given amongst men whereby they must be saved except the name of Jesus. Look at what John had to write in John chapter 1 verse 15. John said that this one, he actually came before me. Because he actually existed before me. I thought John was older than him, says Matt. The same John in verse 30, John says that this Jesus, he came before me. Oh. Do you know one of the things they, 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 they didn't understand? Why a young guy would be using I am. Even, even when the original Hebrews are writing and they get to that sacred name, some of them even change their pen. They, some of them perform ablution. Who is this guy? That is literally everywhere with I am. He was not making up a story. Really. He is I am. Praise God. So you see, Christianity is not a fan club. You see, Christianity is not an opportunity to get a venue for your wedding. No, 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 no. <laughs> you see, Christianity is not a process to obtain a title. It's a life. It's a life. When they looked at how they lived, they said, oh, these ones, they are Christians. Family, 
we have a great treasure. Maybe we've not meditated upon it. Maybe we've sung of all the songs. So I'll cherish the old ragged cross. Do you understand it? Do you understand it? A defeat the devil cannot recover from. Do you understand it? Say, had dealt squarely with the human race. A man walked earth. Oh, he dealt with sin. So should we now allow the one that is dead to rule us? Certainly not. Certainly not. So if you are here, in this place, addictions, they are allowed. You can enter with it, but you can't spend three minutes. Here, it leaves. In this place, when you gaze upon that old ragged cross, family, there are things that leave you. They leave you. you. You let go. In this place, the delete button on your phone must be constantly alive. Because as, as the service is ongoing, there are things we delete. We, we delete them. Praise God. So you just check, you realize that you'll be exiting some groups. You exit. Hallelujah. You, you, you exit. Like that, that's the things that, have, so in this place, you turn on your phone, but you put it on silent. Hallelujah. There's so much you, you do with the phone. I pray tonight that as we lift up the name of the Lord, it will not be that any man is exalted. Yesterday in prayer meeting, I was saying that what is our consolation? Our consolation is not ministry. Our consolation is not applause. Our consolation is not money. Our consolation is not marriage. Do you know our consolation? Simeon said, my eyes have seen the salvation of the Lord. Do you know how they call Jesus? The consolation of Israel. He is our consolation. Do you know our reward? Our reward is not a post. Our reward is not fame. Our reward is not money. It's him. It's him. It's him. That's our reward. That's our ambition. That's our end. That's our way. Oh, Malana Messiah. It is illegality to ply this road of life without doing Christ. See, it will end you nowhere. It is illegality to try living without him. Oh, he is life. Oh, have you not read that these words that we read, they are life to those who find them. They are life. They are life. We are not just existing. We are living. We are living. He had to wait to say it is finished. Because really, he finished it. Dr. Mouse Moreau said, he didn't say, I am finished. He said, it is finished. He didn't say, I am finished. But he said, it is finished. Family, we have this great treasure. Look at the beauty of the empty tomb. And yet, it pleased God that by the preaching of the cross. You see, if the devil had even known that he was taking Jesus to the cross and the people would gather like this. Oh. The, the, the man Napoleon Bonaparte said something amazing. He said that he does not understand how they have tried. They have tried to lead people by force. And it is not easy. Yet this one comes without any force. Men are following him. Are you not amazed? That e levy we said will not pay. Are you not amazed? Yet without any announcement, we take our monies and we place it in an offering box without anybody putting a gun on us. Are you not amazed? Are you not amazed that this love is powerful? Are you not amazed that people can take their salaries and they empty it? Who is this person leading people without force? Oh. Oh. What manner of love has the Father lavished on us? 
that we should be called the sons of God. That we should be called the sons of God. Amazingly, beloved, let us laugh. Why? Why? God. God. God is love. The other day, somebody tried a conversation with you. Just one hour, you were getting bored. How come this person you want to do 24 hours just being at his feet? This is the way you find me. I love the way you find me. This is the way you find me. You know what? The man asked the women, why he search for the living amongst the dead? Ah, Jesus is alive. You see, I don't know when somebody will watch this video. Maybe you are here. Maybe you come and see this 30 years from now, 50 years from now. But listen, there is just one name that has been exalted. Heaven and earth will pass away. Oh. It's amazing how riches are fleeing. Proverbs chapter 31. Even tells us charm is deceptive. Beauty. Fleeting. See. At the end of the day. It will not matter. The phone anybody used. It will not matter. The car anybody drove. Very, very soon, it would not matter the accolades and the names. It would not matter how powerful you looked. Only one thing will matter. If you are not doing Jesus, do it. If you have not taken this thing personally, eh, you are missing out on a lot. See, you are trying to do life the wrong way. There is no other foundation except that which has already been laid. Which is Christ Jesus. Every house is built by someone. But the builder of all things is the Lord. I pray for us tonight that as we journey on there will be moments of surrender. There will be moments of letting go and letting God. Having a picture from this service is not enough. Being in any video is not enough. Do you know what matters? That you can lay it all down. That one day you can stand and say, I didn't just pass through. God did something to me. The Lord help us. I want to receive from Pastor Mayal. Then from there, I think the man of God, Samako, would come. So please let's put our hands together. This is the way you find me. I love the way you find me. If this is the way you find me. There's one prayer. I would be leading us to pray today. And this is the kind of prayer where it is, you continue in it. You know, some prayers, God answers, and you don't need to pray them again. But this is the kind of prayer you would be praying for the rest of your life. So that is where we are going. Praying this one prayer. And together, I want to speak about two words. Two words 
we would examine the relationship, and that is the key thing. What is the relationship between these two words? And then we will pray. Hallelujah. Please commit this time unto the Lord. Let's commit it unto the Lord. Holy Spirit, we need you. Mazile krasuleme shabrasin de boho sada brasin de lele broskede. Iba sada rasi de le hashen de broske lele brasin talima. Lima zunda brose de lele meshke de razen de bezun talala mashkede. Marazele me sandu shala brasi lele be. Mazin de be shada brazika doske de razika. Lima jede me rezi kadara bazin telele meshke de me. E ma raze de me kusala ma shede bria zentele. E ba razin telele me shede me zidaba. Ma zeli ma shada braske lele me hazan de be shandaba. Rapa lima zun de be shabraske lima hazin de le besha. Alama zentala la brosin de le besha. I kabazin talaba shandele be nabros in dalabahazi lima shadi magros in havazin telibabo mahile mes ibran talama hashanda baze i kabazan talala ba shada bazin talabada i mazan debe ibra teleme avonzin kapon telebe ha telele me shada raza kadozen telele bezi i mashada brazele me shanda begazan talala ba ima razin telele Ima shanda la bahazin delebe, ima shada zan kabazen telelebe zan dalaba. O zeni ma shadi magazen telelebrio zan talalaba. Ima zan talalaba shin delele mezinte, ima razan talalaba shakazin telelele. He mazanda bashin delele bein zanta laba. He kabozin tali mezinda ba. La zanta li manshen dele azinda bagaze. Razen tali libe ha zanta ba. Li manshada ba zanta li libe ka. Mi anta la la ba zanta. He le me shanta bagaza ya. He mazon tali be shen tali bada. He mazanta la la ba. He kapasa da la ba. He anta la la ba shanta la la ba. He le be zanta la la ba. Kabazanta ba, rapa pa shanta la la ba, ele be zanta, ele me shanta ba, me kabazanta ba, rapa pa 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 la pampa, ele me zanta, ita baza, e kabaza, ele be zanta, ele me shanta ba. I mazanta, I brata ba, ele bezanta, e kaba, in talala ba, li mashanta ba ha, in dezenta li bezo, pazon kaba zanta, li barata la bras kantala, ele me shanta ba, i ba pazon tabaza, ele me shanta ba ha, bi kabo zante behe, raba bo zanta li ba, raba banta ba, i ba zanta ba, i ba zampa da, raba bas kaba, i zanta la la ba, ele bezi. Kaba leba shanta la baza, iba zanta ba raba baza, ile me shanta ika ba ba razanta ba radini ma zaka ba ele be sha. I bazanta, I le bazanta baha. Reki na gose di mahaze, remezenta liba. I ma shanta ba, rakata talaza. I le mezanta ba, razanta ba, razanta dada. I mezente de, razanta laba. Kaza, I bazala, I bazala, rapa pa pa pa. I bazanta la, I de mezanta, alaba ha. I ma shanta ba, razanta, I le bazai. La baza, he kaba zanta la, he le be shanta la la ba, he da zanta la ba. Kabaza, he le be za, he da la za, he ba zanta la la ba, he ba zanta la la ba. He ma ra zanta la la ba, he ba zanta la la ba, he ma zanta la. Kebe, li ba zaba, li ba zaba, li ba zaba, li ba zaba, hayanta da ya da. Shada baze, he kaba zanta, rezente lelebe, he ba zanta raze, he ba zanta da, he lebeza, he lebeza, la zanka ba, raza kaba ya. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. 
I want us to think about two words and then we would examine the relationship between these two words. The first word is justification. The second word, as you can guess, sanctification. I would need some help in reading the scriptures. So if you, you should get your Bibles open and you, you read the passages out loud for us. Jesus Christ, his crucifixion, his death, and his resurrection. The Bible tells us that that has achieved something for us. By his crucifixion, by his death, and his resurrection, Jesus has achieved something for us. And one way the Bible describes it is the word justification. The broader word will be salvation. With salvation, there are various aspects we can look at. Propitiation, it takes us to like the shrine. Redemption, it takes us to the marketplace. And now justification, it takes us to the law courts. Justification. What is the source of justification? What is the grounds of justification? And what is the means of justification? The first word we want to explore. So justification is a legal verdict God pronounces upon us that we have a right standing with him. It is a verdict that is passed by God over us. What is the source of justification? Romans chapter 3, verse 23 to 24. If you are there, just read for us. Romans 3, 23 to 24. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 for all, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God verse 24 being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus verse 25 whom 24. God 24 yeah thank amen. you amen amen so we are told the source of our justification all are justified freely by his grace the previous verse announces that everybody has sinned so in Romans right from chapter 1 Paul is saying you Jew you Gentile you person who thinks that you are righteous everybody has fallen short of the glory of God and so justification is something God does freely No sin, no need for justification. No grace, no possibility of justification. Because no one on his own merits, by his own efforts, can be able to stand before God and say, God, seeing the kind of life I have lived, I can stand before you boldly. I can look you in the eye and place demands on you. All have sinned. So this, just, this verdict God places upon us that we have a right standing with, with God is something God does freely. If there's no grace, there's no possibility of justification. The source of justification is God's free, undeserved favor. Point one. What is the grounds of justification? Yes, justification is free. But is God right in freely giving people this verdict? 
Tumesi alluded to this. Did God lower his standard to be able to look at fornicators, bitter people, backbiters, liars, and say that I consider you righteous? Did God have to lower his standard to be able to do this? In the Old Testament, one of the things God was always against was those judges and those high profile people who subverted justice so that perhaps the rich the rich is guilty but then they acquit the rich that is one thing god was always speaking against in the old testament god was a god is a god of justice so in our case yes god it is free but what is the grounds Do you all of a sudden become an unrighteous person to be able to declare sinful people like us righteous before you? Romans chapter 5 verse 9. Romans chapter 5 verse 9. We have been justified by his blood. The blood there in the, in the Bible is another way of talk, talking about by his cross, by his death. We have been justified by his blood. So here we see a distinction between justification and amnesty. In amnesty, you are being forgiven deliberately so that we will not pursue justice. So amnesty, the related word is amnesia. We want to forget that you have ever done anything wrong. We don't want to pursue justice. But justification is not amnesty. In justification, God is actually pursuing justice. Why? Because in the person of Jesus, God takes the penalty of our sin upon himself. Justification is an act of justice. In this case, it's a gracious justice. The penalty for we breaking the laws of God has been born on the cross by Jesus. So then that is the grounds upon which God can now look at you and say, I declare you righteous. What is the means of justification? What is the means? Romans chapter 3 verse 28. Romans chapter 3 verse 28. For we maintain that a person is justified by faith apart from the works of the law. Amen. Amen. Faith is simply the hands that receives what grace freely offers. So the means by which this justification comes to us is by faith. Is by trusting in what has already been accomplished. And then God looks at us and says, You are considered righteous before me. So justification is outside in. Something that is alien to us. 
It is an objective something that has happened. Because Jesus Christ lived the life we should have lived and died the death we should have died. In putting our trust in him, we are declared on that basis to be righteous. In fact, justification is even more than forgiveness. In forgiveness, in a way you are telling somebody that you may go. So somebody comes, you are in traffic and somebody steals your phone and you apprehend the person. You can take the person to the police station. But or you can forgive the person. So in forgiveness, you tell the person, you may go. I don't hold what you did against you. But in justification, God doesn't say you may go. God says, you may come. He's not simply saying that I forgive your sins, so go. He says now, I look at you and I consider you righteous. You may come before me. Justification is something outside in. It comes from outside us. So if you want to ask, ask, answer this question, am I okay? Am I at peace with my maker? Does God accept me? The mistake we make usually is we answer this question, how? By looking inward. You want to look at how well you are living to be able to answer this question. But justification says that don't look inward to answer this, look outward to answer this. Am I at peace with my maker? I look at the cross. Justification is outside in. Do not look inside. Look unto Jesus. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Now the second word, we've looked at justification. The second word is sanctification. Sanctification, continuous, lifelong process by which a believer becomes conformed to the image of Jesus. The process of growing in holiness and becoming Christ-like. So justification has to do with our standing. Sanctification has to do with our work. Let's read some verses on sanctification. Romans chapter 6 verse 19. Another person, please. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1. Romans chapter 6 verse 19. I speak in human terms because of the weakness of your flesh. For just as you presented your members as slaves of uncleanliness and of lawlessness leading to more lawlessness, so now present your members as slaves of righteousness for holiness. Amen. Sanctification is presenting our members as instruments of righteousness. With our lips lying, gossiping, hurting people. But sanctification means that now we are able to speak the truth in love. The words from our mouth will impart grace to the hearers. Our hands have done some really nasty things. But now we lift them up in adoration unto the Lord. We have watched some serious things on our screens. But now with our eyes, we look into the world so that we can honor the Lord. That is sanctification. 2 Corinthians 7, 1, 1 Thessalonians 4, 3, and 7. Second Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. Therefore, having these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of, the, in the fear of God. Amen. Amen. Perfecting holiness out of fear the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 4, 3 and 7.
First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality. Verse 7. For God did not call us to uncleanliness, but in holiness. Amen. Amen. If you have ever wondered what the will of God for your life is, First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3 is telling us something about the will of God for us. Our sanctification, our growth in holiness. First Thessalonians 5, 23. Now, may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you. So these are some of the verses on sanctification in the Bible. There are lots more. Some of the verses on sanctification in the Bible. So the Bible calls us, brothers and sisters, to grow in holiness. Justification is a one-time complete verdict. It admits to no degrees. It doesn't change. But with sanctification, there is change. There is progress. But there is a mistake we can make about sanctification. And it's this. We can think that growth in, in godliness is simply conformity to external rules. So the external rules could be the commands of the Bible. We forget that the commands of the Bible are the steering wheel, not the engine. We think that sanctification, having known that the Bible calls us clearly unto holiness, we will think that holiness or sanctification a simply conformity to external rules. But think about this. How do you grow physically? So some of us, I know you like gobe. You go and buy a gobe. How do you do? Do you smear the gobe externally on your body and then you grow? No. The food you have bought or prepared has to go inside of you. So that's the same thing with growth in holiness. Spiritual growth is not solely external. The rules and the commands should find a place inside us. Otherwise, we'll fall into the error of the Pharisees. Matthew chapter 23, verse 25 and 27 and this is very important as you are thinking about sanctification. Listen to it clearly. Matthew 23, 25 to 27. Matthew 23, 25. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cleanse the outside of the cup and dish, but inside you they are full of ex extortion and self-indulgence. Verse 26. Blind Pharisee, first cleanse the inside of the cup and dish, that the outside of them may be clean also. 27. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which indeed appear beautiful outwardly, but inside are full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. Amen. Amen. This is an important text as we think about sanctification. According to Jesus, you can cleanse the outside of the cup, but the inside will be very unclean. You can be like a whitewashed tomb. On the outside, you appear beautiful, but the inside costs. And here Jesus is speaking woe to the Pharisees. So that as we think about sanctification, as we hear the Bible call us unto sanctification, the, the thing that should also be in our mind is this. 
It is possible to externally be conformed to rules, but internally have no reality in there. And Jesus says, Whoa. So that, let's look at another text actually from Paul, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2 to 5. This is also an interesting text as we think about sanctification. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2 to 5. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2. Now I want you to observe this. This is the longest vice list in the Bible. I want you to count. See the, the number of things Paul lists here. Okay. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, Disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanders, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, and from such people turn away. Amen. I don't know who had the number. Paul talks about 18 things between verses 3 and 4. The longest vice list in scriptures. But now the interesting thing I want you to observe about this text is verse 5. The people, Paul says, are lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, Brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Paul says in verse 5, they can have an appearance of godliness. This is serious. You can be a lover of money and still appear to be godly. You can be disobedient and still appear to be godly. You can be slanderous and still appear to be godly. Having a form of godliness, when you look at them externally, you can think that these are godly people. But Paul says, have nothing to do with such people. So sanctification, growth in holiness, the point I want to make with reading Matthew and 2 Timothy is this. We cannot define sanctification simply by saying that it's a conformity to external rules because of the warning in Matthew and also 2 Timothy. Sanctification should be inside out. Sanctification should be inside out. Justification is outside in sanctification is inside out now I said all that I said to bring us to this point so this is where I really want you to listen well now there's a question how our justification and sanctification related. How is the objective justification related to the subjective sanctification? How is our standing justification related to our work sanctification? How is the outside in justification related to the inside out sanctification how is discipleship related to the cross now for most of us the two are not related we believe that Jesus by what he achieved on the cross for us we have been justified. God looks at us and declares us holy. 
is something we have. You see it. We come to the scriptures, and the scriptures also calls us unto holiness, unto Christ likeness, unto discipleship. And that is here. And so we pursue discipleship, we pursue Christ likeness. But this has nothing to do with our justification. So what happens in our sanctification is that it simply becomes an issue of the will. Exerting yourself, making effort. It appears that when it comes to sanctification, it's all up to you. And the mistake, we've made a prior mistake, forgetting that with sanctification, it is inside out. The tree produces the fruits. Imagine somebody watering the tree, watering every part, but forgetting the roots. You have to water the roots to be able to get the fruits. So we've already made the first mistake, forgetting that sanctification is not simply a conformity to the rules we see in Scripture. It should be something inside that is manifested outside. But the second big mistake we make, and that is where I want us to learn tonight, is that the process of sanctification has nothing to do with the verdict of justification. So that mentally, we will say that yes, we believe that because of what Jesus did on the cross for us, God accepts us. God accepts us. But in practice, in reality, our hearts function in the opposite way. Our hearts function in the way that because now I am beginning to pray two hours a day. This is part of sanctification. Growth in your prayer life. Because now I am beginning to take my quiet time seriously. Because now I am beginning to have boldness to do door to door. If I ask myself, is my maker pleased with me? What do I tell myself? Yes. Why? Because of my quiet time. Because of my prayer. Because of all that I'm doing. So what is happening is that you are basing your justification on your sanctification. Immediately you do that, you destroy the whole system of justification. Justification is not inside out. It is outside in. It is a verdict that is passed over you because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross on your behalf. It is not an issue of your relative progress with sin. But that is how our hearts function. So what happens is that we become radically insecure people. You see, for the unbeliever who doesn't care about obeying God's law, who doesn't care about all these things, the person is free. But for you, a believer, who knows what scripture says and you are disobeying, if you base your justification on your sanctification, you become radically insecure. So you realize that there's really no joy in your life. Because you are, you are, you are trying hard to be able to win the approval of God. Justification by sanctification is man's way to heaven. Sanctification by justification is God's way. With men, we say that you are supposed to do these things so that God will be able to, be, God will be pleased with you. So all that we are saying is that forget about what Jesus Christ has done on the cross. Yes, it's great and it's nice. But you please put it aside. Your acceptance before God 
is based on your performance. Justification by sanctification. But the Bible tells us this. Sanctification by justification is God's way. The progress, the process of sanctification is nurtured by the verdict of justification. You will only make progress in sanctification if you go deeper in your justification. This is how sanctification works. So that when we are talking about the cross being central to Christianity, Chumezi make the point, it is not an issue of deco. We are saying that this is how we enter into Christianity and how we make progress in Christianity. This is how we come into faith and grow in faith. The death of Jesus Christ is not just how we become believers and then we leave it and come to our own effort and striving to grow as Christians. To be able to make progress in sanctification, your heart needs to be melted by the reality of your justification. And this is one of the biggest mistakes we all make. We will mentally, when we are, if we do a test right now, and we ask, on what basis does God accept you? I think all of us will, will excel. You will state it clearly that because Jesus Christ lived the life he should have lived and died the death he should have died. That he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us so that in him we will become his righteousness. So on paper, that is what we say. But in reality, this is not how our hearts function. So that as we step into life, we forget Easter. The realities of Easter does not shine on our day-to-day -day life. It is something we will celebrate, but it's not something we embrace and work with in our life. Let me give an example in Scripture to see how the doctrine of justification was brought to bear in an issue of sanctification. And then we will pray. Galatians chapter 2, verse 11 to 16. Galatians chapter 2, verse 11. Now when Peter had come to Antioch, I withstood him to his face because he was to be blamed. He was to be blamed for before certain men came from James, he would eat with the Gentiles. But when they came, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing those who were of the circumcision. Verse 13. And the rest of the Jews also played the hypocrite with him, so that even Barnabas was carried away with their hypocrisy. But when I saw that they were not straightforward about the truth of the gospel, I said to Peter before them all, If you, being a Jew, live in the manner of the Gentiles and not as the Jews, why do you compel Gentiles to live as Jews? Verse 15, We who are Jews by nature and not sinners of the Gentiles, knowing that... A man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Christ Jesus, that we might be justified by faith in Christ, and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law, no flesh shall be justified. Verse 17. 16. But, okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Now, I want you to make some observations about this text. This is Paul 
a believer. Writing to Galatians who were believers. About an incident involving Peter, a believer. We're drawing from Gentile believers. When Jews, Jew raised believers from James arrived at Antioch. This was an internal church issue. But listen to what Peter says. That they were not acting, verse 14, when I saw that they were not acting in line with the truth of the gospel. And then in verse 16, he talks about, we know that a person is not justified by works of the law. So from verse 16, he now brings out the truth of justification. In addressing issues involving believers, an internal church issue. What I would just want you to observe from this is that Peter, did miss, Peter could have said that you are not acting in love. That you are being hypocritical. But he says, you are not acting in line with the truth of the good news. And he talks about the doctrine of justification. So that the defect in our sanctification is always first a defect in our justification. The defect we see in our sanctification is because of the defects in our embrace of our justification. We grow in Christ likeness by placing our sanctification in light of our justification. So in Romans, we see Paul do the same thing. So from Romans chapter 1 to 11, Paul talking about the gospel, explaining it, and in chapter 12, Therefore, in light of all that I said, therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, listen, in view of God's mercy. So all that Paul is going to now admonish the people to do, he says, in view of the gospel that I have preached. Yeah, he calls it God's mercy. And in the gospel that he's preached in Romans, we saw the passages we've been reading, justification by faith. So therefore, brothers and sisters, in view of the justification by faith, and then he goes on to admonish them. Brothers and sisters, the crucifixion, the death, resurrection of Jesus it's not just a means by which we enter into Christianity. It is the way we grow up in our faith. It has everything to do with your sanctification. If you are not day by day appropriating this truth, embracing it, praising God about it, if day by day you are not going deeper in the acceptance God has given you because of what Jesus Christ has done for you. You will never have the capacity to make the sacrifices God is calling you to make. You will become radically insecure. Always watching your back. Does God really accept me? Is it worth it taking this risk for God? But if our hearts are melted by our acceptance, this was what will give us the power unto Christ's likeness. I was in a meeting and a senior man shared this incident that happened in his home. They realized that some monies were, monies were getting missing. So he suspected one guy who it's not his biological child, but lives with him. They suspected that guy. The monies were getting missing. They asked the guy. The guy says it's not him. So one day, one morning, they were, the children were about leaving for, to school, and the mom realized that 
the money is missing. So then he says, okay, now everybody, pause. We are going to search through your bags. So of course, my friend goes to search the bag of this, the usual suspect. But the money wasn't there. Reluctantly, he searched through the bags of his children and he saw that it was his son who was stolen the money. He took his son to the room, sat his son down, looked at his son, and wept. As he wept, he says his son just said that, I will never break your heart this way again. I'm never going to steal. And that was it. He never stole any money in the house again. When he got to see the heart of his father for him, it was enough to break the stronghold of stealing. An awareness of the father's acceptance of him. The father's brokenness was a, just a refle reflection of how he loved and cherished his son. As his son got to see that, that was it. And that is what I want to tell you. If you get deeper in the free justification Jesus Christ has secured for you, that is it. This is the secret to spiritual growth and power. As you get deeper in the acceptance God has given to you, I tell you, your prayer life will change. Because now, you are not, it's not you seeking to spend time with somebody you think is reluctant to hear you. You are beginning to see that he really cherishes your company. So much so that he gave up his son to die for you. So that you can have access to his presence. As you see this, your prayer life will take on a different turn. For most of us, our prayer life is trying to get God's attention. We try our best, and sometimes you realize that you feel sleepy, and that can even break you. God, you can see how serious I am. Won't you even help me to stay awake? Next time, you'll not come for prayer meeting. But if your eyes are opened to the reality of the acceptance Jesus Christ by his, his crucifixion, his death, his resurrection has secured for you. This is what is going to change your life forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we rise on our feet and pray? We want to make one prayer. And this prayer is something you would have to pray every day. Every day. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory. So shall find rest beyond the rain. So I want you to understand this. You are saying that is the cross. Day by day. Not just when you fall into sin that you remember that Jesus died for you. By day by day. Be my glory ever. 
Jesu shall find rest beyond the reef. In the cross, in the cross, Jesus. you to talk to God. You are saying that, Father, I want my heart to embrace the reality of justification. Mentally, I understand it, but that is not how my heart functions. Sometimes we think that the basis of our prayers being answered is because last time we gave a fat offering justification by sanctification in that case why did jesus need to die for you i want you to make this prayer and from henceforth make it a prayer you are always praying god may my heart embrace the reality of my justification my justification that because of Jesus father you consider me as righteous because of Jesus Lord you embrace me just as I am as weak as I am you embrace me me you say father let my heart resonate with this reality God open my blind eyes that I may see clearly what Jesus has done for me Lord open daily daily Lord as I said to have my quiet time it is it is being fooled by the reality of my acceptance I am not studying the Bible so that God will accept me I am opening up the scriptures because in Christ, God accepts me. I am given because God has accepted me. If he gave up his life for me, is there any sacrifice too big for me to give? I am not trying to give a big offering so that, so that God will say yes. Now I can love you. You want to say, God, let my heart begin to function this way. My heart has been functioning in the wrong way for far too long, but Lord, let my heart work well. Let the reality of Easter permeate into my day-to-day -day living. Oh God, that as I step out to evangelize, it's because I know of this great salvation. I am not doing it so that God will know how serious I am. I am doing it because God has taken me seriously. He has given up his son for me. Wouldn't I want to spread this? I want to pray that, oh God, let my heart work well. Father, sanctification by justification lord let my sick heart work well my heart is prone to go in the way of man but god oh lord the cross let my heart work well God, heal my sick heart. Let my heart 
and embrace this. That I have been justified freely by the blood, by faith. God, let my heart work well. Lazura Gandele Meshandarazi Maharazu Katas Lima Rosa La Mashada Brazele Briacata Lalas He La Bazura Zele Mezon Telebezi He La Zanda Shada Raze Gedez He La Bazan Talalaba Shada Brazada Braz Lima Shada Brazele Megazon Talalaba Lima Zatala la Basha da Bada Lia Zantala la Basa de Lelebis Iba Shadala la Bata la Laba Liantala Zeteda Zetele Zedes Iba Salaba Shada Bata Bas Lianta da 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 Liantala Bazanta Zada Zalaba Ibazalaba <laughs> Rabba Baba Baba Salaba Hela Zadaza 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 Hela He 
We are the ones you have shown us mercy. We are the ones, Lord, you have shown us mercy. Lazi mashanda brasi kadasi ndelele brasi untalabashi intarabaziz. Razan telebe shangros amahazin telele beshi dala raziz. Zali mahazin bras kalabrasha di mahaze mezun de res. Rata lele beshe ke rezan da bazun de behezas. Abazin de brio salabasha da razetes. Lord, we pray that you open our eyes to the reality of our justification. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. May our hearts begin to function well. that we will not base our acceptance on our progress in holiness, but rather our progress in holiness 
will be anchored in the reality of our acceptance. In the name of Jesus. Father, from henceforth, make us conscious of this. When our hearts are drifting away, God, give us the grace to arrest our hearts. Thank you, Lord, for what Jesus has done. Day by day, Lord, may it affect us. Father, we pray, may it affect us deeply. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. On that note, on that note, can we extol the lamb? On that, on that note, can we extol the lamb? Can we bless the name of the lamb? Come on. Our agenda, our agenda is to lift up the lamb. Our agenda is to lift up the lamb. Be on that same key for me for now. Maintain that key for me for now. That's him. Bless him, bless him. Oh, Ogwama, I will come no no fata sell. Oh, Jitu me. Ahunya nyan sani awote ni ni tini ni onyam. Come on, somebody, bless the Lamb. Bless. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy. Mm. Oh, no, no, but I say, oh, gee, to me.
of the Lamb. I don't know 
how about you? But ni moja nchi na mimi wonka. There is a hymn we sing in my church. It's very simple. Osi oto beni ya wa wa do se oto mi murusu se yi o anka mi su madono. I'm 
The same Jesus who walked on water. The same Jesus who raised Lazarus from the dead. The same Jesus who fed over 5,000 men was on the cross. Hey, he could have saved himself, but he thought of you and I, so he stayed there.
Can you celebrate the lamb? Can you celebrate in your own way? Before I start, before I start, before I start, can you celebrate the lamb? To me, I was through any assassin to me. I owe him. Nipumunia, my Nina, walk to walk. I will say, We are all him. We are all him. To me, I was through. Ah, didn't he make a public spectacle of them? Didn't he triumph over them in it? Hey, welcome to Now, what is his name? for us.
Love him back. Love him back. I hear the song. What is the law?
Bask in his glory, bask in his glory. a lot to share. His death, his crucifixion. See, if he died for us, it means that he would do anything for us. But one of the many things that he does for us through his death is that he gives us access. Access. Hallelujah. Hebrews 9.12. He gives us access. Hebrews 9.12. Wow. Hey, that too, you cannot just worship. Hey, that too, you can't just worship. But now we can worship in the comfort of our homes. We can come to a day with him and worship. Why? Because of somebody's death that has given us access. Not 
with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, he entered the most holy place once for all. Once for all. Hey, he entered once for all, so now I can come to Zion. Ah. Ah. Having obtained eternal redemption once for all, not twice for all, not thrice, not four times, once for all. And so I can come to Zion. Ah. This is the reason why you should come boldly. Hebrews 4 6. Thank you for access. I will not come with my head bowed down. No, I will come boldly. I will come boldly. Mm. And I will come for two things. I will come and obtain mercy and find grace to hell. Lord. Sing glory, glory I, I, I feel I feel this one so strongly in my spirit. Let us let me let me digress a bit and I'll come back. I want us to give thanks to our king of kings and our lord of lords you know we can never be tired of giving him thanks we can't we can't wow we can't We will come back to Hebrews, but please take me to Psalm 59, verse 16. It's morning, it's morning. We need to do something every morning. You need to do something. It's morning. It says, I will sing of your power, yeah. I will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning. So, in the morning, that's what we do. Why? Because you've done two things for me you've been my defense and my refuge. I will sing of your power and then I will sing aloud for the mercy I will sing aloud because I need mercy I will sing aloud of your mercy when in the morning by this time we will come back but I, I feel strongly that we should do this ahead of an accident on the Cape Coast Akwadi Road last week Tuesday hmm an articulator had done an overtaken and then had come into the lane of a fort you know fort with 14 people and so when the Ford driver saw the overtaken the Ford driver stood he packed so that the articulator would come when the articulator got closer to the Ford the tie burst when the Ford had packed the tie burst and then the articulator fell on the fold and exploded. Everybody got bent. 14, they got bent black. Wow. And I was asking, God, why? God, why? And they your children. One, he said he's a sovereign Lord. But he showed me a scripture. I want to show you that scripture so that you work on loving God. It's very important. Isaiah 43 verse 4. Isaiah 43 verse 4. Since you were precious in my sight. This is what God told me. Since you were precious... <laughs> You have been honored and I have loved you. You know, the response to love is love. 
I have loved you because, because you have loved God, God has no choice but to love you. The response to love is love. Are you aware? So if you want God to love you, love him. Therefore, I will give men for you. The King James says, I will give men in exchange of you. So probably God has exchanged some lives for you, for your life. And people for your life. Probably you are here because God has exchanged some life for yours. He is God. So this is what you showed me. So, so I'm sharing with you so that we celebrate him for exchanging lives for ours. Because I've been on that road several times. Cape Coast Takrade, I've been on it. I'm sure you've been there. If you've not been on that road, you've been on a road before. What's your Lord that? Car found China. Articulator found China. He gave men in exchange for your life. You are the all sufficient, almighty God, sovereign one, Yahweh of Israel, El Shaddai. You are the all-sufficient, almighty God, uh, sovereign one, Yahweh of Israel, El Shaddai, Adonai, we were from the To the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. From the rising of the sun, hey, to the setting. When the Lord showed me this scripture, I also made a promise to God. I made a promise. I said, God, if you have exchanged lives for mine, then I promise you Psalm 104 verse 33. Put me there. I promise God Psalm 104 verse 33. This is my promise. Until my last breath, No, because if he died for me, then my life is for him. I will sing unto the Lord. When? When? As long as I live. When? As long as I live. I will sing praise to my, while I have my being. <laughs>
this is my promise to you. Adonai. And then with him, Adonai. back I'm almost done I'm coming back to Jesus Christ his crucifixion his death and his resurrection I have a lot to share I have a lot but before then pastor Adeboya says something I was watching hey it struck me he said a passage in Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 7 he says rivers enter enter into the sea They keep entering into the sea, but the sea is never full. Why? Because the water goes back to where it came from. Listen. He said that God is seeking for worshippers, true worshippers. And those true worshippers who will continually worship him will be like rivers going to the sea. God is the sea. So continue to send your water to God. Hey, continue to worship you have worshipped yesterday but today worship <laughs> because when you go into your past he is God now he is God in the future he says that one day God will say thank you that is when the water will return from the sea to the river again and anytime God says thank you there is an overflow he said thank you to Peter after using Peter's boat. And so I can't stop worshiping. Because one of these days, God will tell me, thank you. Your thank you from God is not far from here. Keep worshiping now. Mm, Adonai. bring me to a so the death gives us access beautiful two it sets us free from sin hey where I'm coming from eh? where I'm coming from the normal way of life is sin and so I don't joke with my salvation because I could have been some 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 wild person somewhere if i tell you people in my area hmm, i can mention some two names but i will not mention if i mention their names they are they are they are on the other side but they they are from my my town in fact my area and so if i look at them i am grateful to god i don't know about you maybe you are maybe you think your salvation is is, is something no it's very valuable because today you could have been somewhere but his death his death but for his death you are here mm. Mm. Romans 6 6 Romans 6 6 beautiful ah, ah. Sing Adonai. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. Hallelujah. I'm free. I'm free. 
I'm free. Like writing something with a pencil and erasing with an eraser. You see, if you write with a pen, if you write with a pen and you use an eraser, it will not go well. But this one is like pencil and an eraser has come to clean it. There are no traces. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified. Oh, when he goes into my past, he doesn't see anything there. Why? Because I'm a new man. Didn't you read? That if a man be in Christ, that the bodies of sin might be destroyed. That henceforth, we should not serve sin. I'm no longer a slave. Let's continue his death gives us healing you can feel sick listen you can feel sick but you you are not sick you can feel sick but you are not sick never say with your mouth never say with your mouth that I'm sick Isaiah 53 verse 6 by his stripes never say that you are sick again because <laughs> because he didn't say you are finished he said what it is <laughs> including my sickness so you cannot be sick This one this one this one is very high but it's very true believe it you know don't try and wrap your head around things when we come to church listen when you come to church don't try and understand things no here we don't understand we believe because your understanding is weak eh? your understanding is weak see the way you struggle with quantitative analysis it means your understanding is, is, is weak so don't try and understand, believe. Because to him that believeth all it is. Okay, verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace. Hey, I am too peaceful. No, no. No, it doesn't matter what goes on. E. Levy. No. Creator is he that is in me. The worst of all, the worst of all is death. But death is gain. Death is gain. The worst is death, but death is gain. By his stripes, we are healed. In fact, we were healed. And so the prophet saw this. So in, in, in the same Isaiah, in the same Isaiah, I think, I think 33, 24, he said, They that dwell in Zion shall never say I'm sick. And the inhabitants shall not say I am sick. Wait, is this in the Bible? So why do you say you are sick? can I be sick I can feel sick but I'm not sick why greater is he that is in me his death brought me healing there's, there, there's this song we sing in my church oh, oh we mommy Oh, oh, we, mommy, my 
Easter will be will be an Easter of a difference. This one. This one will be an Easter of a difference. Will be an Easter of a difference. that Jesus had to resurrect hey, otherwise on the first day on the first day the devil and his cohorts made fun of him on the second day the same but on the third day there was a shaking in heaven because there was a sound in heaven there was a sound sorry there was a sound in hell there was a sound and so the Bible says he made a public show of the devil and all his cohorts triumphing over them in it. And so he came back to life. That is why we cannot die. Hallelujah. I cannot die. You can't die. No, you can only check out of this body. You can check. <laughs> You can't die. Why? Because he, is, he is the first one of the dead. And so we are all following him. We can't die. Pastor Billy Graham said, when you hear that I am dead, don't believe it. Because I am alive more. You can't die. You can only check out of this body. I am looking forward to that day. Because the Bible says, So Jesus said, It is expedient that I go. John 16, verse 7. Jesus had to go. 
he had to go so that we will continue the work hallelujah can you put your hands together for the lord say 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 with me i will continue the work are you sure hashtag charlie let's do this hey we are doing this jesus thing we are doing it he said it's expedient that i go and when he went he left us with a lot of things oh he left us with the holy ghost and then he gift he gave gift unto men he gave gift unto men hallelujah Ephesians 4 8 he gave gift unto men that is why you can serve in the house that is why you are here everybody here is gifted at least at least you can hear the voice of God you know if God doesn't call you you can't come and so you have the gift of hearing you heard it that's why he came he gave gift in the next one minute can you bless him can you bless him for giving us gift he gave gift unto men so that we continue the work without the gift we can't do much lord i thank you lord i praise you lord i bless you lord i extol you lord i thank you lord i give you praise lord i magnify you lord i extol you thank him thank him gratitude means more thank him somebody's gift is multiplying somebody's gift is multiplying thank him i'm wrapping up but i feel strongly that we should enter into a time of worship again Can you bless him? Can you bless him? Can you extol him? Can you bless him? Psalm 118, verse 1. Can you bless him? It is good. Come on, it is good. It is good to sing praise to him. It is good. It is good. Abala barana ma shamana mande Mandala ma kana manda ba shambrana ma Arada wa shadala ma yanda manda Mandala ma shanama Adonai I worship you Son of God you are so good almighty father hallowed be your name your dominion is forever madonai adonai It's all about Jesus. Come on. Son of God. You are so good. Almighty Father. Hello.
I'm the apple of his eye The thought that fills his heart Every morning, noon and night He loved me when I yeah. ah, And was patient so like Running back into his glory to reveal what will we do I will worship you Sacrifice. I am more than a 
A day with him, ah, a day with him. <laughs> it's more than a thousand elsewhere. A day with him, ah, give me a the altar. Ah, uh, he's my father, so leave me a the He's my father and I will worship him forever. Leave me at the altar. He's my father. He's my father. Leave me at the altar. Father, we extol your name. King of glory. King of glory. You are the Lord strong and mighty. You who ride on the wings of the wind. And make the clouds your chariot. You who live in an unapproachable light. Mm, to him who sits on the throne and on to the Lamb. Be blessed in glory and honor. Power, riches, wisdom. Now and forever. We give you praise. We give you praise. Accept our praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Can you put your hands together for the Lord? Wow. What an awesome time. What an, what an awesome time. What an awesome time. What an awesome time. You know, you know, you know, you know, I cannot sit down without giving somebody the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ. It's not possible. John 3.3, 3, you must be born again. You must be born again. Probably you might not hear me again. Probably this is your, you know, we are in the 21st century. It means that a lot of people have come and gone. Listen. We are in the 21st century. So listen. You are not the first occupant on this earth. A lot of people have come and gone. In the next 50 or 75 years, maybe we will all not be here. Maybe. So where would you be? Who are inside? Who are inside? Hebrews 9.27 It is appointed unto man once to die after death. 
Enti wu wu ane fi asye. Wu wu ane fi asye. Daniel prophesied that in the last days knowledge shall abound. I'm telling you where we are. Knowledge shall abound. Daniel 12. So look at the way knowledge is abounding in our time. Look at technology. Look at free access to information. On your phone, you can order for virtually everything. Now you cannot easily score an offside goal and have your way. No, because of VAR. Technology. So we are in the last days because knowledge is abounding. Because of too much knowledge and technology, it has brought comfort. And it has brought something called pleasure. And the pleasure is making many people lose their love for God. Pleasure. 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 You can be home and you have access to everything. So there is pleasure. And so your love for God is waxing cold. Because you have everything at your comfort, you now love yourself more than any other person. 2 Timothy 3.2, 2 Timothy 3.2. Men shall be lovers of them. That's the first thing. And so my point is that we are in the last days. We are in the last days. You need to be born again. You need to be born again. You might not hear this message again. So today, you will decide. Decide either to accept Jesus Christ or not to accept. You have to decide. If I were you, I will accept. If I were you, I will accept. Because there is a way out. I want to pray with you. Bow down your hands with me. Place your right hand on your chest. And say this after me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I accept I'm a sinner. I believe I can't save myself. I confess you, Lord and Savior of my life. I will serve you all the days of my life. So help me, God. Happy birthday. Your new life starts from now. Put your hands together for the Lord. Wow. Your new life starts from now. So get a Bible-believing church. Get your Bible. And then get a church that believes in your Bible. Read a portion of your Bible. Psalm 119 verse 130. The entrance of your words gives light. The world is a dark place. You need light. The word of God is light. It gives understanding. You make mistakes, too many mistakes. You might not get time to correct your mistakes. I sit with my hymn. Yes, I be for one a wedding kunim, and Timuni a dancing chire. Na Yesu Christo ribante, Yesu riba ribante. I be for one a wedding. Yes, 
Yesu Christo bra na jidi fu nyina she wo kwai enti Yesu riba ori abe fawo na wedi Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Can you hear me? I said hallelujah. Amen. Can we celebrate the man of God? Such a gift. What a gift. Amen. Also, for God bless you. Amen. Are you sleeping? No, are you sleeping? In this atmosphere, are you sleeping? And yes, original way. <laughs> Amen. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory. This is where everything is. My right. That soul shall find beyond the reach. Come on, let's sing it to the Lord. In the cross. get to this stage of our faith this is this is this is the totality or the summary of our faith his death his burial and his resurrection w without this we can't be here you and I could not be here if Jesus had chosen to say yeah woman no like if he had decided to say let me live a little more because I am enjoying the likes on Instagram or let me live a little more I, I don't want to die and the Bible says that we would have been um, um, among all men we would have been the most pitied but thank God tonight that this man was obedient and he was obedient even to the cross. In the cross. In the cross. Oh, be my glory. Tell my rapture, my raptured soul. Easter period, we remind ourselves of the love that God has for us. We remind ourselves of, of his love that is unconditional. 
Hallelujah. And so Paul said to Timothy in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, he said that make sure that nobody takes for granted your youthful stage. Make sure nobody looks down upon you because you are youth. Hallelujah. There are times when people think that as for youth, all they know how to do is to go out and party. As for youth, all they know to do is to go out there and have fun. But there are a group of people who are also a youth. All they know is to gather together and spend a whole day. They are not tired to worship. They are not tired to praise. They are not tired of praising. They are not tired of lifting up his name. And so he says, son Timothy, be careful that nobody, nobody at all looks down upon your youthful stage. What he is trying to say is that your youthful stage is valid. Your love for God is valid. Your praises unto the Lord, it is valid. Your worship, your adoration, your thanksgiving, it is valid in the presence of God. Oh, there is more to us. We may look like young men. We may look like young women. We may not look much. But Paul said, don't allow anyone to look down on you. It is, it is time to remember the crucifixion. It is time to remember the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Some people have turned Easter to mean quail. But there is also a group of youth that are gathered here tonight. And all we are saying you can't look down on our praise you can't look down on our thanksgiving you can't look down on our adoration he goes ahead to say don't allow anyone to look down but be an example be an example in word and in deed God is calling you and I to be examples. God is calling you and I to be, you, you will wonder why God will call a young man, an old man, and I answer that. Call an old man who has experience, one who has gray hair, but he said he is calling young men that we will become examples. Oh, what a blessing. Lift up your right hand. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory. to Leviticus chapter 6 verse 12. Leviticus chapter 6 verse 12. We will step into a time of prayer. Leviticus 6 verse 12. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. It says that and the fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it it shall not be put out and the priest shall burn the wood on it every morning and lay the burnt offering in order on it and he shall burn on it the fat of the peace offerings amen, amen. now this is this is um what we call the burnt offering 
In the, in the olden day, we had five kinds of offering. We had the grain offering, the peace offering, the sin offering, the guilt offering, and then we had the burnt offering. When you, re, you do a little study, the burnt offering was the only offering that was totally burnt. Everything was burnt. When they put an animal on the fire, everything was burnt and was given to the Lord. As for the other sacrifice, when, when the animal is dead, now, like then then the priest will cut and then they will eat but when it came to the burnt offering everything was given to the Lord absolute everything goes to God amen now let's read something in Romans chapter 12 verse 2 verse 1 sorry Romans chapter 12 verse 1 are you still with me are you here okay Romans chapter 12 verse 1 it says that I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable to God which is your reasonable service hallelujah as we are remembering the love of God the man of God says something and he said that the, the response to love is what Oh, come on. That respond to love is what? As God gave us his love, one of the places or one of the very sacred moments in our life is when we remember what he did for us on the cross. As you remember how unworthy you are and yet he came to die for you, then you begin to ask yourself, you begin to reflect and ask yourself, what am I doing for the Lord? How far with my relationship with him? And all that he is asking of you and I is that we will be Become a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. And this is this 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 is also very synonymous to what we call the burnt offering in the olden days. And this is how the burnt offering was. Let's go back to Leviticus chapter 6, verse 12. We will pray in a bit. We will pray in a bit. Leviticus 6, verse 12. Yes, and he says that, and the fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it. Amen. The fire on the altar, if we are going to become living sacrifices, where everything in us goes to God, our fire must be on. Our fire has to be kept burning. We need to be alive in the spirit. We need to be, if we can go out there and win souls, if we can go out there and proclaim God, if we can go out there and tell about Jesus, we need to be set on fire. We need to be alive. This sacrifice needs to be set on fire. There is nothing we can do until we are set on the altar of fire. And tonight, as we remember the crucifixion, the burial and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ one of the things we are trusting God for in this season is that God set my altar on fire set my life on fire in the mighty name of Jesus there are certain altars that have become cold certain altars have become too cold and so when God is speaking we can't hear when God is leading we don't know where to go but as we take time and spend a day with him our prayer tonight is that God let my altar continually burn let my altar continually burn I am not talking about burning in the morning and then in the afternoon you are gone or in the evening you are gone but continually may there be fire on my altar in the name of the living God are you here we are going to trust God for fire upon our altars. Fire upon our altars. The Bible says that if this same Jesus, if this same power that rose Jesus from the dead, if it lives in us, it will quicken our mortal body. It will quicken our mortal body. So many things in the system to cripple us. But we thank God for his resurrection. We thank God that he died the first day. We didn't hear anything. The second day, we didn't hear anything. But on the third day, he rose again. 
He rose so that you and I will have power. He rose so that you and I will be on fire. Listen, let me read something in Acts chapter 28. I just want to read all the scriptures and all the talking, and then we can step into a time of Acts chapter 28, verse 3. When Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. When he gathered the bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, it is as though there was already a viper there, but until there was heat. Sometimes it may look like we are doing well. It may look like everything is okay until God sets us on fire. And then bitterness becomes to come out. And then pain comes out, unforgiveness. It begins to come out so that we are so set on fire and our lives begin to bring him glory. And then we can say indeed, we are a living sacrifice. I don't want to be a cold sacrifice. I don't want to be a cold sacrifice. As I respond to the love of God, I want my love to be hot. I want this love to be hot. I want it to be burning. I want this love to be burning. Lift up your right hand. Me sone me koshe. Pale breko shate ne me kapasa. Fele be hato o shata da blaka pasa. Oh, here are living sacrifices, Lord. We lift up our hands and surrender. That we are your living sacrifices. We are your living sacrifices, Lord. We are your living sacrifices, Lord. But we want to be alive. We want to bear. We want to bear for you. We want to bear for you. Colebra Kashata Alabasa. As we lift up our voice. As we travel in prayer. Father, let there be fire upon our altar. Let there be fire upon our altar. Let there be fire upon our altar. Lift up your voice. He can live in his shatayata. Let there be 
Set our altars on fire. Let our altars be on fire, Lord. Our prayer altars set them on fire. Our fasting altars, our giving altars, let it be on fire. If there is no fire, whatever you are put on it, it won't burn. It will not burn. It will just be there. It, it will just be there. So some of us, we only appear. We, we are here. We are here, but it is not burning. The Bible says that no one gave an offering unto the Lord. And when the offering began to burn, the Lord came and said, where is this coming from? It has a special smell because there was fire. There, there was fire. 
You need fire under your prayer. You need fire under your evangelism. There has to be fire. He says, ensure that there will constantly be fire upon the altar. Else whatever we give continues to lay there at the wall. Some of us are wondering why you have given monies and you are not seeing anything. You have laid all kinds of prayer requests on the altar and you are not seeing. We need to add fire so that it will burn onto our call. Lift up your right. Oh, I don't know how cold you have become. I don't know how cold you have become. But your prayer is one. Set me on fire, Lord. Set me on fire, Lord. I want to bend for you. I want to wear out for you. I want to be tired for you. Let it be for you. Let it be for you. Let there be enough fire. Beneath it all, let there be fire. Let there be fire. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. I will not just leave it there. I am set in fire. Let there be fire beneath it. Let there be fire. Let there be fire beneath my sacrifice. I'm 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We step into resurrection power. We will not just place the sacrifice, Lord. But tonight, let there be fire beneath our sacrifice. Let there be fire beneath our sacrifice, Lord. And cause it to burn. Cause it to burn. Cause it to burn, Lord. Cause it to burn, Lord. Cause it to burn, Lord. Cause our sacrifice. Let it burn. 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 We give up. We give up cold altars, Lord. We give it up. We give up all tests that have no fire beneath it. We give it up, Lord. As we remember your resurrection, let fire touch our altar, Lord. Ah, let fire touch our altar. If we are living sacrifices, Father, beneath this life, let there be the fire of the Holy Ghost. Beneath our praise, let the fire burn. Beneath our worship, let your fire burn. Beneath our gratitude, let your fire burn. Beneath our offerings, let your fire burn. Beneath our sacrifice, our obedience, let there be fire. Let there be fire. Let there be fire, Lord. Cause our altars to be hot. Cause them to be ablaze. Burning for you. Burning for you. Burning for you. Continually, love. Continually, love. No season. But continually, let there be fire on this altar. Continually let there be fire upon this altar. Continually, continually, continually let there be fire. Continually let there be fire. Continually let there be fire. In the name of Jesus. Continually, Lord, let there be fire. Let there be fire, Lord. Let there be fire. Let our sacrifices burn. Let it 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 rise. Oh, the Spirit of God is here. I can barely speak, but listen, the Spirit of God is here. The resurrection power of God. <laughs> Let our prayers burn, Lord. Let it be a sweet smelling fragrance. Let it burn. Let it burn. Let there be incense, Lord. May it not be food 
of men wisdom not just of emotions love not just of things we have coined things we have said to please people but God let our altars carry fire let it burn let it burn let it burn let it burn Lord. Oh, that we may burn for you, Lord. That we may be sacrifices on fire. Sacrifices on fire. Not just on bare woods. Not just on bare woods, Lord. But let there be fire. Let there be fire upon our altars. Upon our altars. Let there be fire. Will you just thank him? Will you just lift up your voice and thank the Lord? Can you just thank him? Can you just thank him? Ah, tenne meka bahasa, mele breka vela bahasa, hane meka oshana bahasa. That we will bend, Lord. That we will bend, Lord. Let this fire burn all the chaff away. That we may give glory to you. That our lives will bring glory. Let the chaff burn. Let the chaff burn. Uh, like fire, soak like rain, flow like mighty waters, again and again, sweep away the darkness, burn away the chaff, and let the flame burn. To glorify, there are higher heights, there are deeper seas. Whatever you need to do, Lord, do it me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let there continually be fire on our altars, Lord. All manner of altars, Lord. Let there be fire. 
Let there be fire to consume our sacrifices. And let it please you, Lord. Let it please you. Let it be a sweet, sweet aroma, Lord. Our tender caution. May our lives burn, Lord. May our lives burn. May all the sacrifice, Lord, let there be fire beneath it to consume the sacrifice. As we remember your death, your burial, and your resurrection, Lord, we give ourselves wholly as a living sacrifice. Each and every one of us. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it burn this vessel. Let it burn the sacrifice, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Have we prayed with thanksgiving? Amen. Hallelujah.
Just a minute, can we speak in the Holy Ghost? 
can we engage the Holy Spirit out of your belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Remen bele me kapata, ratene me kapai, rapai maluatai, ayapan domen tumai, ayipan tulabai, avaveno no noi, iyato sadela noi, irapai, irapanta, apam bam 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 bana, ratendo, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, rebe kuba lia. He speaketh mysteries to God. Ayapaya. No man understandeth him. But how be it in the spirit? How be it in the spirit? Apaya tai. Ayapandai. Ratanamai. Ratai. Rapai. Rapanosaya. Rapanonome. Libasaya. You see, Azusa is not all God can do. In a lifetime, Azusa is not all there is to God. I'm the old sire, and people can gather, and the Lord will show up. Rapina my, Rapina my, Rapina my, Rapina my, Ayapanda by your time, Rapanda by, Rapanda by, Rapaya by, Rapaya by, Ayapanda, Rapanda, Rapai, Rapai. Release it. Don't be drunk with wine. But read in essence. But be filled with the Holy Ghost. Ayapaya. Uatabalu. Upadadai. Rayatai. Rai. 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 Obawa. Uai. 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 again yes Lord hallelujah praise God let grace be supplied to us
do it again, Lord, do it again. Tonight. Oh. Please kindly take your seat. And, and, and please commune with God in just a minute. In just a minute, please. Just commune with God. Just, just a minute. Building yourself up on your most holy faith. Speaking in the Holy Ghost. Go bala dosama. Elias was a man like us. Malavai Masoma. He prayed. He prayed. That it wouldn't rain for three and a half years. Heaven upheld the prayer of this man. So the continuous unstopping effective prayer of the righteous makes tremendous power available. Tell Talemeko ban telemai, reta sheme, reta tatai suaya. Jesus Christ, in the days of his flesh, he offered up prayer with loud cries, with loud cries to the one who was able to deliver him from death. Nim pinama ban dumalatai. There is somebody that is able to deliver us from death. Mipa daba dolobaya. Ratai nita nita. Paul said, I thank God I speak in tongues. Milalima don teneme yatai. More than all of you, what will I do then? Mapayatai. Then he answered it himself. It was not a question he was leaving for others to answer. What would I do then? I would pray with my spirit. I would pray with my spirit. And I would pray with my understanding. Oh. William Seymour said, there was such a hunger in me. For two and a half years. Five hours daily. Oh, come on, die. Reme pele, neme pele, brother, die. I believe that is the point we have come to. The woman of God said the fire on the altar that God has sent. God said we should make sure that it does not run out. Yesterday's firewood is today's ashes. It does not qualify to to engage in continuous burning. Oh, Sadabai, we would need a new and a fresh firewood. Past glories will not win this battle. They have an outlook of spirituality, but they deny the power there. Of Ratina Nanai, Rapan Pulatai, Rapan Tenamai, Remenuatanda, who found Fanny Mipampa, Raitisa, Ayafafande, Puakuakuata, Lalutu, Titanta, Araten Pumata, Rapin Tatai, Wasaya, Apingungange, Rege, Regege, Wampampampala, Ratanzua, Ifantusa, Ayan. Son 
Sansanza, Walinta, Walinta, Raika, Rabas, Ayasa, why, 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 Rantosa, Rez, why, Walampe, Rantosa, Wapinduata, Rate, Osua, if a fund, Walinga, Gagaga, Ragaga, Rababa, Wasua, Atentunta. Renono, Wambina Masal, Wayayande, Wesende, Rakatabakonta, Rana, Wambe, Wasa, Ikakemua, Ivanzeza, Ugosu, Ugugug, Raya, Rambe, Ugosa, Ayinsunda, Imandu, Rata, Wafanvandelwai, Usua, Imandele Makanda, Wasa, Ipanke, Walindo, Shame, undu shimai na wa rata danda mashowa rata ya tebese ine ya. Oh, more than suit. No, no, no. More than suit. More than titles. Amilatai, avaliatasa. Aratatai, oh Sabayatai, more than a name for ourselves, we want you. Amima Mambambala, Ratandalai, Ayapaliatasaya, oh God, oh God, Imalanden to my Rem, um, Remenusima, Razazande, Iayanden, Neme, Remekusalama. Ratai Bakuaya, Rebasoaya, Ratadadab, oh God, oh God, oh God, Riatasanda. See, you can drink. You can drink. See, you can drink. You've not come from a program. It's not a program you have come for. Aya Paleno Nosa. Ima Sena. The focus is Christ. Looking up unto Jesus. The utter and finisher of our faith. Who for the joy set before him. Aya Yande. And you the cross. Despising the shame. Aya Peno No Sada. Aya Bada Datan Pumala. Rapeno Sada. Aya Palatai. Aya Palatai. The man saw death. And yet was saying. Not my will. But yours be done. Yours be done means he's going to die. Oh, but the man feels that that is the way out. I wish somebody would realize there is no other way out. There is no other way out. There is no other way out. We either pray or we apologize to our generation. We either pray or we send an apology letter to God. There is no other option. I I I I We have been crucified with Christ. Yet we live. This life that we live, it's not us that lives. Oh, Penemai, Ratai, Ayapande, Iyatai. I know a man, I know a man who was caught up in the dead heavens. He saw and he heard things that the mouth cannot utter. In Baluatel, a man can be caught up, a man can be caught up. The status quo is not the limit. The status quo is not the standard. Abana mayata, atali mikaba, ratada, ratename, afalea, rata, imali apande, imali apande, rimasu, afamvelea, rata, ayapaya. When you think about the crucifixion, you think about absolute surrender. You can surrender. You can. 
can surrender. He can surrender. He papa palo. He papa panta. Walusuma raiteswa. A frate daya. A yisalia. I see fire in this place. I see fire in this place. I see fire in this place. A balita. A balita. A balita. It's not by mindset, it is not by power, it's by my spirit. Say at the Lord, you can join yourself to the chariot, to the chariot of the spirit. It will no longer be on your pace. Abila la lua sande, propande la sua, isa la yatala, wala basumia, alim tumbinadai, riatande suala, raya yayaso, mila limbina nan, ibai pai, ibai pai, ibai pai. Ministry will not be our consolation. Microphone will not be our consolation. He is the consolation of Israel. He is the consolation of Israel. They will not compensate us with a position. They will not compensate us. Oh, Katayatai, with administration. We want God. 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 Amia Tandewa. Papa Papilata. They will not compensate us with marriage. They will not compensate us with a visa. We want God. You shall seek me and find me if you seek me with all of your heart. Kebayatai. Oh, Kebayatai. The Lord is that spirit. The Lord is that spirit. Wherever the spirit of the Lord is, they don't pretend about liberty. There is liberty. There is liberty. There is liberty. Wherever the spirit of the Lord is, Ayapane Metalatai. Oh, when they gather together in the upper room, in one accord, Ratatatai, Avanimiatai, oh, Sadalatai, that day, the attendance list was not okay. It was not enough. They had counted men, they had counted women. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 120 people had gathered. But that day, a strange person entered. Adila Taya. Adila Taya. That day, someone else entered. It is not enough to tell me. 120 gathered. There were more than 120. Amila Taya. Abila Nae. Lee Messiah. Oh, I thought they placed Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego in the fire. But there was a fourth man. There was a fourth man who entered. They rested on each one of them. They rested on each one of them. Tongues. As of fire. Oh. Huh. Oh, Kimaliata. I say it again, family. They will not compensate us with ministry. They will not compensate us with a position. Amelene Messalia. Friend. 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 The Lord will do to us what only Him can do. Anything that is not real, we don't want it. Anything that is fake, we don't want it. Oh, we want God. Lee Messiah. I 
have set the Lord God always before me. He didn't say, I have set my kingship before me. He didn't say, I have set my kingdom before me. Abalenemeya, I have not set ministry before me. I have set the Lord God always before me. Not sometimes, always before me. I have set the Lord God always before me. Always before me. Satisfy us with more hunger. Satisfy us with more hunger. Uh, they will not compensate us with applause. They will not compensate us with a billboard. Beyond all this, Lord. Beyond all this, we want you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You reign forever. Your name is ever great. You are the wisdom before time began. Your name is ever great. You know, he himself made man in his own image and likeness. But he himself says, it's not good for a man to be alone. Guess what? He said that I would make for him a suitable helper. Jesus is also leaving. And Jesus is also saying, I'm not going to leave you as orphans. Jesus also says, I'm going to fashion for you a helper. Amazingly, he says, when he comes, he, when he comes, he shall leave him remind you of all I have taught you he calls him strengthener he calls him advocate he calls him counselor the spirit of truth the spirit of Jesus and today I pray that the Lord does something to us as we, as we speak about his crucifixion his death and his resurrection let the power of the Lord be experienced in our midst let our eyes be opened as never before thank you Holy Spirit hallelujah praise God Praise God. Before the, the man of God comes up, I want to give this announcement. We, we are giving the announcement in batches so that it will not just be those that will be around till the end that will hear it. Hallelujah. God willing, from Monday the 4th, 
You know, today is day 46 of the fast. Hallelujah. So we are pushing by God's grace. God willing from Monday, the 4th of April. Thank you. Through to 27th of May. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have, I'm sure that would be around 52 days left. This one. Individually, we are going to pray 100 hours. Praise God. And this is how we are going to go about it. This one is private prayer. It is. Help me with the microphone. God give us a new microphone. Amen. You know our microphones are spot. So today, Kato had to save the day. So Kato had to bring two microphones to us. But it's a blessing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, wh please, where is Joshua? Can we project what we have? Now, on the, on the 100 hours, it means that if you dedicate two hours daily in prayer, you'll be able to hit 100 hours by the end of the fast. Now, this is what we want to do. We are dividing the day into four. So, six hours, six hours, six hours, six hours. Every six hours. If, if you can stand for 30 minutes, by the close of the day, you would have done two hours. Is it a good one? So, we have designed a template. This one, it is between you and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So, by the time, thank you, sir. God bless you. And may you live long. Amen. Now, this, this template is, is a blessing. Praise God. The truth is that what we have written is at least. So that, so that the one who does not pray. At least you should hit the two hours. So that if you, you've been doing six hours every day, it doesn't stop you. Praise God. Now, so the moment you hit your first 30, you can take. <laughs> the, 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 the second six, then you take. The next one, then you take. So by the close of Monday, you should get four takes. If you, you stood one hour continuous, you can take two. This one, it is between you and the Holy Spirit. If you are praying and you are answering calls, if you subtract it, you get two minutes. Two. So that is it. Praise God. See, you are going to commit yourself to this. See, I know we have done a lot of corporate stuff together. Because apart from this, don't forget, morning, afternoon, evening, it's constant. Praise God. It is a core subject. Praise God. Now, this one will help you with your credit hours to meet it. Praise God. Family, you might be laughing. But one day you would understand. If God can set a man burning, the world will come and watch you burn. They will come. So please, please note it. Up there is your name. God calls you by name. You can't write our name. Your name. You might have been hanging on other people's prayer lives. This time round, you want to say that I'm going to be intentional. You're going to engage in prayer of adoration. Prayer of supplication. Prayer of intercession. You're going to intercede. So you, 
you, you can divide it such that by, by the close of your maybe first one hour, you have hit adoration. You have hit maybe intercession. Praise God. So that you don't think that we want you to use the two hours to ask for things. Your visa and your passport that is expiring. The Holy Ghost should renew it. That's what you are saying. But no, they are weightier matters. The truth is that when we come together, time is a limiting factor. So we are unable to exhaust the range of the prayer. There is a dimension of prayer that is like intercourse. You don't stop until you have hit a particular note. In music, there are notes. Note. The moment you don't hit the note, I say, oh, shenyom no mai. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, we are going to push in. So, right from Monday, I don't know how you are going to, so you yourself, please check it. So that if you miss your first 30, you then know that you, you would have to go a step. Praise God. How many believe it's a good idea? How many believe we should push it? Hallelujah. Praise God. So please, I, I think we can try to print some uh, hard copies within the course of the day. So well, Lord. So that we share. So this one will be for April. And then the next would be for God willing. Praise God. It's a blessing. Praise God. It's okay. So family, please. We are pushing this. Hallelujah. 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 This is outside of your chapters of the Bible you have to study. Praise God. It is an amalgamation of the word, prayer, and the spirit. Praise the Lord. Commit yourself. This 52 days ahead, you want to get this through well. It doesn't mean that when, when you stand and you you, you are pushing and you hit maybe four hours. You say that, hey, yeah. no, pressing. What we are saying is at least. Jesus asked them, so couldn't you wait with me even for an hour? Praise God. So you want to come to a place where we are engaging this truth. Praise God. Now, please listen to me. You can, you can take him to the... Uh, prayer room so he engages God a little the, 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 the man of God with uh, the something kind of strength help us boko, 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 boko. the Lord is with you boko. Munye no boko, mame. Munye no boko, mame. I beg you boko. hold him well that's right that's right that's right Hallelujah. Just, just, just let him be in the prayer room. That's right. It's well. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Just, just take, t take him in into the prayer room. That's right. That's right. So at least two hours a day. We want you to be alone with God. See, there are things you will never get if you don't learn to be alone with him. As powerful as gatherings have been, see, there's a place for personal encounter. There's a place called the closet. Hallelujah. No matter the value we have placed on the stage, see, there is wealth. See, your closet is a mine. Hallelujah. It's, it's, it's a serious place with wealth. I know you will come out with testimonies. Hallelujah. I realize all the men we look up to, they have this closet life. They have it. Bishop Wade said, 
he turns his phone off for two to three hours every day. We, we are thinking of the people we would miss. But you see, we are not more busy. We are not busier than them. So there are many times where actually not making time to pray is a deception. It's a deception. Anything that takes you away from prayer, you can, you can decorate it with ministry. It is not worth it then it means you are doing it too much. Let's not chase things and leave God. There are things the Lord wants to teach us in his word. There are corrections he would want to communicate to us. But the place is too noisy. I said, they didn't do so. From her, ye ko ha, ye ye. I said, a door so. I don't know if you've been there before, but I have. Why you need now, but you are still you still feel empty. See, intimacy is not advertised. I tell you. You see, when we go for a wedding, do you see that before the wedding they, they send us save the date? Do you know the save the date is not in relation to their bedroom, it's in relation to the event. When have they entered the bedroom and they took a picture? We are enjoying for you. No. But by the time they return, after a while, you would understand what they went to do in their bedroom. There is a reason for which there is a place called hall. And there is a place called bedroom. There is a reason. So you don't entertain visitors on your bed. There is a reason. So there are things that are sacred. And your relationship with God is sacred. We have allowed all manner of things take us from God. But if you want to see a revival, what we saw in Azusa, Azusa Street started with a man. A hunger in his heart. Suddenly when they gathered, there were men who were having similar hunger. Definitely, there will be an explosion. Praise God. So I challenge you. If 24 hours in a day is possible, because after here, tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday, done, we'll pray before we go to church. After church, we'll pray. When we are done praying, in the evening, we'll pray. The prayer team will meet again before each session. Yet say, it still doesn't win the battle. If the corporate meetings are not reflecting in our private times. If we meet you and your sermon notes, it's, you've written more in your sermon notes than what you wrote in your closet. Something is wrong. I'm not kidding. These five chapters we are doing, do you know that you can hit a particular verse and you can't move? It's like romance the verse a little. Those who are married will understand me. Ha. I speak of a great mystery. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I want everybody, let's, let's do this. I'm not going to call you to ask you. Babo, Bobo, me bomi di. Senior, because, see, you will not rob me of God's glory. See, you will not rob me of intimacy with God. I love you, but God himself knows that I love him more than you. See, there is a limit to what any man can offer. One day God will prove to you that there is a man of God and there is the God of the man. The day you'll be calling a man you look up to and it is number busy and it's out of coverage area, you realize that by flesh shall no man prevail. So please, two hours. Please, can you bring it back on? That's right. You see, Tilly, this picture, at first it was Obroni, then I said, no, we have some of that picture here. So this was a corporate meeting, a day with him. And the young woman was lost like this. So how much more your bedroom? You can be lost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day when we are looking for you, let us find you in God. Where is she? Oh. 
she was praying. But after three days, she has ended up in another country. <laughs> oh God. So please, that is it on the, on the prayer. How many are in? No, you can't say you are not in. No, 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 you, you can't do that. The truth is that I've even answered for you. Praise God. How many are in? Thank you. Hallelujah. So, it means that by this calculation, you can't do eight hours stretch sleeping. Are you realizing it? Because by the time you sleep eight hours, for 75 years, you have slept 25 years of your life. Praise God. If you sleep eight hours every day, by the time you turn 75, one third, you have slept 25 years of your life. Per the calculation, you might be 30. If you have done 15 hours daily, may I present unto you that perhaps you have lived eight years actively walking earth. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we are going to do this. Father, we thank you for grace in Jesus' name. Amen. God willing, may end it. We are giving the announcements, please. My bishop is here. It is a good announcement. God willing, may a day with him, by God's grace, would be two years. Two years running. Hallelujah. You know, that year, it was a COVID season. COVID. And that was when the Lord laid this great move on our heart. So it was the last week of May. For that matter, the first week of June, it's not going to be 24 hours. We are going to run 48 hours. So that each 24 hours would be for one year. Praise God. We are trusting God for some amazing men of God. Those that God, have, God has used within this journey. And by God's grace, some gallant soldiers from uh, Nigeria also. <laughs> Hallelujah. So it tells you that there is great work. Great work. We are trusting God that we can, we can mobilize over, over thousands of people to gather and lift up the name of the Lord. So we want you to please, please, by the time we are closing, there will be some sheets there. We need to have certain active committees that are going to start work. Venue, uh, production, it's, it, it's, it, it's going to entail a lot. Hallelujah. But same God. Same God. And you know the fast is also ending on 27th. So by God's grace, there might be a top up. A top up of three. Hallelujah. We are still weighing it in our spirit to get clearance. But I anticipate. Hallelujah. You know, a man of God can perceive. I can perceive. Because we are digging. You see, you can plan for a five bedroom. By the time you look at the resources available, you realize that you can get ten out of it. Praise God. So, that, that one too is on. Hallelujah. So, the prayer team, it means you'd have to increase your time of prayer. To whom much is given, much is expected. But, I assure you, these things would pay off. The last thing I'm saying and would invite Doc is this. By God's grace, we set out to buy some items for the media department. By God's grace, we, we've been able to raise 20,000 out of the 64,000. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you had brought yours, would have hit it. Hallelujah. So, we, we set out to get two cameras. One of which is a uh, a little over 16,000 Ghana cities when you do the conversion. Praise God. So what we, we decided to do was that we can't allow the money to sit down and wait for 
uh, corporate mobilization. I don't even understand what I said. But I know it means something. So what we did was that by God's grace, we've gotten one of the cameras. Praise God. So that's the camera Frank is standing behind. Even today of all days, we're not going to get cameras. But some way, somehow, God brought this one in. Hallelujah. And this, this other one is from uh, Preach Media. Hallelujah. So we still have one of the cameras to go. Praise God. I mentioned that our microphones, because we are running 24 hours, the, 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 the power, the power, and the capacity of the microphone, the microphone's capacity is suffering a dwindling effect. Hallelujah. It is English. Don't worry. Someday, you'd understand. So, we need microphones. Seriously. The pair was 2004 for two. And we need two sets. And the cordless as well. So, we are saying these things to you so that you would have something in your heart. You would purpose something in your heart. By God's grace also, we have opened an account for a building project. Hallelujah. Oh, <laughs> Praise God. We are trusting God that there would be a place that people can enter at any time and come and wait on God. Like you and your children. Baby, your three girls. Praise God. 2028. 20, you give birth to them. So, we would also put all those account numbers on. See, a journey of a thousand miles. See, it must definitely begin. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, so that you realize that the basket is not for deco. We put something in. Hallelujah. Upon a men kosa. Men kase we mu die. Ukokro mum bisa ofri. Men nyesa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So please, the, our, our mobile money number, the bank account will be put in there. See, you can, you can send seeds, you can send offerings. We are, we are going to trust God greatly for and take some steps of faith that we know that he is going to honor. Hallelujah. A time will come, will not be sitting on mat. That's the truth. There will be a foamy, foamy, foamy chair. Hallelujah. So from work, you can, you can pass there and pray. Then you go. You can even do your honeymoon there. Hallelujah. So family, this is by way of, we, we needed to do this because most of the times we give the announcement when we are ending. But we realize a lot of people miss the, the announcement. Hallelujah. So maybe you are here. You can help us with a microphone. You can help us. You know, we bought these speakers when we were at Hacho. Now, because of the numbers, the, the speaker is not able to push. So now the speaker has been turned into a monitor. So if not for this a place we, we, we had and the people had mercy on us to give us their speakers it would have been serious so, so if you get what I'm saying we really need quite a lot to help with the work we are doing hallelujah and we are trusting God that after the 100 days we can get back into the regions and engage them as well and send God's word to them. We are trusting God we can enter even schools and wherever souls are they come to the saving knowledge of Christ. So please don't, if you can help us uh, the media team, we need people who help us with editing. 
We need people who help us with, with, with uh, graphics. Any, anyone that has a skill, an idea, a strategy of God that can help what we are doing, please help us. We are asking for help. Hallelujah. And let's push this to God's glory. One day, your name will be mentioned that when the Lord gave this commission, this person helped us. We'll never forget Sister Donna, right? At, at least we enjoyed her too. Like we entered everywhere in the house and we really used the place. Praise God. So by God's grace, when we built that amazing city, one of the blocks would have to be named after her. It's it, it, it without controversy. Praise God. You are saying, why? Give us space. <laughs> God bless you. And God increase you. Family, we want to push. Hallelujah. And, and we are blessed with one of, one of God's gifts really to our generation. And I'm humbled. Every time I get opportunity, an opportunity to meet him, I'm, I'm blessed. By God's grace, I had an opportunity to meet him when he came back to Ghana uh, after some long years outside the country. And <laughs> just a little discussion at the mall. I was, I was just amazed at the kind of grace and depth and insight God has housed in a man. So tonight, I want us to open our heart and we want to receive Elder Dr. Patrick Adonu. Please put your hands together and let's receive the man of God. Oh, I thought you would, you would do better than this. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We bless God so very much for grace and for the opportunity to uh, come back here um, to, to come and celebrate Jesus with you. <clears throat> My brother, I think uh, the discussions about the more we were, we were really rather blessed. And every time that we see and we hear what the Lord is doing with him, sometimes I ask myself, so in heaven, will the pass mark be the same for everybody? Because if it is the case, then may the Lord have mercy. But, but glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. Shall we pray? I know that in meetings like this, when we say, shall we, shall we pray? You are not expecting me to pray, but we can all pray. So shall we pray? Shall we pray that Jesus, through his word, will touch our lives? Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Manana fates, olaski prada da bashe, leluska panana mane, rago se pladaya, omni mata, skifala bado zegaray, miki nana tofe, hazikri kasopo, Maya Nakanda, Vali Badais, Regro Sopona Bakaya, Fanela Badis, Zebandi Kosa, Fala Badadian Talabase, Regro Sepanimana, Vrana Makabada Dava, Lose Hai, Ego Sipanona, Kivegedabana, Vlanda Ragra, Tipeko Sehe, Mashuna Fako, Batenemalis, Ligo Siflani Dada, Peko Zabria, Mayukomana Kosa, Fengana Madianda. Ella Liz, Alabago, Sevlinda Ragaze, Mashem Megai, Alonda Vradiz, Aviai, Oskofona Mana, Penegalos, Reba Diban, Oskafana Manamana, Feketes, Esimana, Pacon, Zevlidae, Regosi, Polagabante, Pia Dagose, Rede de Medeski, Fanama Twasai, Zegudam, Flandi, Bracosa, Falamane, 
Ende meine Kanda Vlada da Bassa Babraska Feia Alentus Kifana Branda Bakose Remanase Fakai Animana Vlaski Fotose Rebe de Gada Pine Manaya Kroni Vanama Mazabra Kos Ebani Manakanda Alina Vrandos Kifidi Balose Rabada Bada 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 Basse Habadaba Maluasa Kose Vleni Manai Ragase Mikaya Vada Bada Dos Mera viga banda vadia tala vazai maka vanda vabla sheve broski vebliatia maraba da vabla shege vele 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 mikandi vada valua sompan de vele vele mana vabla shege vele 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 masa vabla ske fanda ba meke vele vele blu sheve vabla kavada ba Thank you Holy Spirit. We give you praise. Then I'm in fanda Yehova asi. Wonia o ye ma meta denna men fa she ye ho ane o wonia o ye ma understand that God's grace for us to come to this place eh, the fact that we are in a jurisdiction where we can come to a place like this and pray and set for God is grace is grace is grace that we have we have people we have we have an atmosphere that we can come and really set for God and everything that is done here is after God is grace but you see the only time you will see this is when you've been in places where you long for this, but you don't find. It's when you've been in places where you wish, you wish. I can assure you that people are on, they are watching us from somewhere and they wish that one day they could come in. They wish that they could be there in person and, and, and celebrate Jesus like you have. And I, I pray that a, a day will come where we appreciate the fact that coming to a day with him, a life with him, is in itself, it's a blessing. Oh, hallelujah. It's a blessing. Coming here is a blessing. And when we know that, I believe that our praise and the way we, 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 we deal with praise will be different. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, for this, this, this uh, episode of a, a Life with Him, we are informed that we are dealing with the crucifixion of Christ, his death, and his resurrection. The crucifixion of Christ, his death, and his, his resurrection. I know that we have many wonderful uh, ministers who will come to speak on different aspects. And I just want to uh, touch very little on the crucifixion of Christ. Very, very little on the cru crucifixion of Christ. So that the fathers who will be coming will handle the death and the resurrection. So I'm handling... Uh, the little that the Lord has given me on the crucifixion of Christ. The nuggets hidden in that mystery of his crucifixion. The, the God's wisdom encapsulated in that act.
that was done on the cross. Please follow me. Because why God will intend that Jesus will be crucified on the cross. And what he has hidden in that act of Jesus' death on the cross and the shedding of his blood. So the crucifixion of, of Christ is what I will uh, what I will dwell on and what I will, I will speak on. Now, it's important that we realize that in the beginning of these discussions, I'm bringing your mind to bear on the difference between what we or what flesh, what people of flesh or what, what, what uh, human beings, what we measure successes with and how it is different with the currencies that are used in purchases in the spirit. In the flesh, you buy, you transact with, with currencies. There are things that, oh, we really need microphones. Hallelujah. Don't we need microphones? Bishop, we have microphones in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. we, we have microphones. Amen. So, so what I'm saying is that in this, in this metaphysical space, please follow me. Give, give, kindly give me your attention. In this space, there are things that we transact with. And in our transactions, there are, there are benefits. For instance, if I give you my, my pen and you take the pen, and if it's a transaction so that when I give you the pen, I expect to get something. In this kind kinds of transaction, for instance, I mean, logically on earth, when I give you a pen, if you need a pen, you have to give me cash so that I give you a pen, and then I will I will accept or appreciate the cash eh, uh, because I've given you the pen, and you will appreciate the pen because you are paid with with cash. But in the spirit, we don't transact with cash. The 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 currency for transaction in the spirit is something else. It's something else. Spirits are not so concerned about money. They are not really that much concerned about cars or houses or, or, or other things or makeup or something, you know, something or food or what else? Something. What, what did you say? Cars. All right. Or cars. Whatever you, you think is good in transaction. Spirit transact in a different kind of currency. They, they transact in a different kind of currency. We, we have an understanding into this. When we see what God's word, I mean, how God places emphasis on this particular kind of thing. Please follow me. Now, the Bible says, when you read the book of, uh, the book of Psalm 93 verse 1, I will not, you, you may just have to write these things down and check them when we go home. Now, the Bible says that, uh, or let's say Psalm 104 verse 1. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul. Oh, oh Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty. Other version says, you are clothed in glory. In glory. In glory. Psalm 91, 93 verse 1. The Lord reigns. He clothed himself in glory. The Lord has clothed and gathered himself with strength. Indeed, the world is firmly established. Established, it does not move. In his glory. Now, in the book of Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3, the Bible says, and he is the, follow me. He's talking about Jesus. He says, and he is the radiance of his, capital H. He's talking about God. The Bible says that therefore, in Jesus' coming, one of his doings is that this same word keeps appearing. The Bible says that for Jesus is the radiance of God's glory and the exact expression of his nature. And oppose all things by the word of his power. When he had made, when he had made purification of sins, he sat down on the right hand side of God. So you see that as, when I keep on reading from verse to verse, Second Corinthians chapter four verse six. For God, who said, "Light shall shine out of darkness," is the one who has shown in our darkness to give us light of the knowledge of His glory. So the knowledge that God seeks to give us. It's even the knowledge, he is giving us the knowledge of his glory. Are you following me? You see that again and again, Bible places emphasis on this thing called glory. Glory is, is an important currency in the spirit. Glory, glory is so important. You see, when we worship, what happens, what our worship does there, okay, is it brings glory to God. Glory is so important for spirits. In the, in, the, in, the, in, the, 
in the transaction of affairs in, in the spirit, a currency, a typical, very important currency used is this currency called glory. Very important. Very important. Glory. Glory. So my first real scripture, scripture that I want to discuss with you is this scripture in the book of Isaiah. There are just two scriptures I'm explaining, so follow me. In the book of Isaiah 42, verse 8. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8. All right, it is projected, so let me read. It says that, I am the Lord. I am the Lord. That is my name. God, he comes to the scene. And he gives emphasis to himself, explains himself, and takes command and authority in a sentence. He says that in the situation, look, man of God, that, that building, once you have seen it, we will build it. Yeah. All, all we needed from you is that you will see it. Thank God you have seen it. And if it is not big enough, let it be big. If it is not, look, what, how, once you can see it, we will build it. In the name of Jesus, we will build it. We need something, we, we need some money to buy cameras. Once we need cameras, we will buy it. Aye. Hallelujah. We have bought them. God bless you, sweetheart. We have bought them. We need microphones. But the next time we are meeting, you'll be surprised. But the next time we come for a day with him, we have microphones. So these things will happen. But you see, why? Because God comes to the scene. Please follow me. God comes to the scene and he establishes, him, he establishes himself and takes preeminence. He says, I am the Lord. I am here to tell somebody that Jesus, you see, as you, as you search for him, this God we are searching for shall be Lord over your life. Amen. I am the Lord. My name is this, is this Lord, Master. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. That is my name. That is my name. But that is not really my preaching. My preaching is the next verse. It says, and. My, so he is placing emphasis on words. One, I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory. I told you that there are currencies that are very important in, in, in the spirit. And one of them I told you about is glory. Now, Jesus, I mean, God comes to the scene and he says, I am the Lord. And my glory, I will not give. Other version says, I will not share to any other. Nor my praise to carve images. Powerful. It's interesting, man of God. The things that God can share with man. It's interesting. The things that God can share with man. First of all, God shared his image with man. Now, when he looks at man, he says, I have an eye. I'm going to create man in my image. So God shares, first of all, his image with man. Two, God shares his likeness with man. Look, take notice of the thing that God can share with man. It will help you to place emphasis on this thing called glory. I, I know a lady in this house. One of the ways I know her is she will say, glory. <laughs> Our sister Angie. Say, glory is powerful. It's a powerful thing. Yes. God shares his image. Second thing, he shares what? His likeness with man. Interestingly, he shares his spirit with man. God shares his image he goes ahead to share his likeness then he he daringly shares his spirit with man as, as if that was not enough god now goes ahead and god shares his creation with man so much so that after god created things he intended and decided that he will not name them he will give naming look you can create, but one of the things that every manufacturer or creator will want is the authority to name. You see, by the grace of God, not too long ago, the Lord blessed me and my beautiful wife with a beautiful boy. And, oh, thank you. Uh, look, look, you, you have not given me that. You have not given me that. That's why you are not saying, wow, I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'm still looking at the face of some of our brothers today. We will still not say, okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's, man of, it's a powerful thing. Wow. Look, the other day, when I visited you, levels have changed. Look, and I'm, I'm looking at 
this young boy is sleeping there, and uh, I just look at him and say, hey! So, I say, it, it's, it's for me. You know? Oh my goodness. And what kills me is when people say he's a handsome boy, I just feel like, wow, I'm a very important man. <laughs> look. And God does all these things, and before he will, be born, he, he, he will come, I have started thinking about his name, his name, because I want to find a way to name so that people will still think that this boy is really my son. <laughs> naming is very important. God goes ahead to give the authority of naming to man as though that is not enough. God shares his power with man. And the Holy, when the Holy Ghost has come, you shall receive power, power from on high. God is able to follow. He shares his image, he shares his likeness, he shares his spirit, he shares his creation with man. And faith, he shares what? Power with man. God shares his power. It's a very interesting thing. Power is a very important thing. You don't share it easily. God shares his power with man. Now, man of God, God goes ahead. And now God, above all these things, God shares his estates with us. He tells us that, look, I'm going. Jesus, God the personified God, Jesus, comes on earth and he says, oh, don't worry, I'm going to heaven. Look, all these things we are doing is because I have another world in view, in view. I have another world in view. Why we are here, all these things we are doing is because we have another world in view, in view. We have another world. We hope and we tr truly believe that one day, man of God, we shall be there. When these things are over, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, look, one day, one day, these things will not matter anymore. One day, man of God, I will locate David and I'll stand by him and I'll tell him aloud the songs you wrote. One day, we shall meet Paul and we say, Man, we've met here, we've met, we are really here together. One day, one day, one day, one day, we'll not be so worried about inflation. One day, one day, I told my wife, I said, Look, Baby, I love you. Woman of God, you, you go far. You see, when I was trying to get her heart, it's not easy for men. It's a very, it's a very interesting thing. So I've talked everything I'm talking. And then still I have to find a way to bring the, make it spiritual. So I told her that, look, don't worry. I'm told that when we go to heaven, we will not marry there. But don't worry. When we go to heaven, I will definitely be in heaven east. If you see Paul, where Paul will be or David will be, try, I'll locate me somewhere there. I'll be there. I'll definitely look for those guys. And when we are worshiping and God closes his eyes, you see, when we are worshiping, maybe, maybe they have told us we'll be worshiping there. So we are worshiping and then maybe Jesus closes his eye. Don't worry. Look at me. I'll, I'll give you a wink. It's like... <laughs> And as little as this, it is able to cause women to be happy. You have no idea what people have been telling women. Hey! You don't know. My brother, you have to tell something. You have to say something. Don't worry whether it will make sense or not. You just say it. The Holy Spirit will make it work. <laughs> so God, follow me. God says he, he promises that, follow me, please, I'm taking you somewhere. He promises us that where he stays, where he lives, where, he, he, where it's called his abode, he promises us he will make a place for us. So God is ready to even share his abode. He shares his image, his likeness, his spirit, his creation, his power, his abode. And then he makes the wildest thing. He shares his only son with us. I love my brother, but I don't think I will share my son. God shares his only son, Jesus Christ, with us. So you can see that, that kind of thing that God can share. God can share he, even his righteousness, he, his own righteousness. He shares with us. So that righteousness is not of our, of our doing. It's a gift he shares with us. So I thought that if God could share all these things, and now he comes back to us and tells us that there is one thing I will not share. Then nothing is a dangerous thing. If he's able to share all these things I've talked about, but still, 
when we read, as we read in the book of Isaiah, it says, I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory, I can share my power. I can share my righteousness. I can share my son. I can share my spirit. I can share my, my, my image. I can share my likeness. I can share my abode. My, my, I can share these things. But one thing I will not share. And that thing is my glory. One thing I will not say. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. If it has to do with my glory. Why? Because glory is an important currency in the spirit. Follow me. I'm talking about the crucifixion. Please follow me. I will not share my glory. There is. Pick it. Mention it. I will share it. Healing. Power. I will share it. Intimacy. I will share it. What, what is it? I will share it. But one thing. That is the reason why somebody. When you gain intimacy and you lose you lose the place of God's glory. When intimacy becomes about you, sooner than later, you will see that before, before you realize, he has pulled off. For his glory, he will not share with any man. He will not share. Not that because this is our foundation. Will God share his image? Oh, church. Will he share his power? Will he share his son? Will he share his righteousness? What about his place, his own home, his palace, his heaven? Yeah. Will God share his spirit? Yeah. Will God share his glory? No. Church, will God share his glory? No. That is the first assignment I had to do, and it's good that you understand it. So there is only one thing God will not share. There is only one thing God will not share. There is only one thing God will not share, and that is his glory. Please follow me. Now, if this is well understood, if we understand that God will not share his glory, then let's match up this particular understanding of a foundation with what really the Holy Spirit wants us to learn. In the book of Philippians chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2, we are reading from the verse 5. Philippians 2, 5. We will read up until the verse 11. I read. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ. 6. Who be... So, we are advised... That please, let this mind be in you. Because this mind was what was in Christ. What was the mind of Christ? Why is this scripture important? We, it is important because this is the mind that was in Christ. A person is what he thinks. So if this was the mind that was in Christ, then if it is in us, it will help us. And the writer says that, let this mind be in you which was in Christ. What is that kind of thinking? Look, the thing that Jesus did on the cross... I believe, and per our, our study this evening, I believe that it is not only, you see, the cross is not, and I love this, the cross is not, the cross is not only a symbol. The cross is not only, it's not only a sign, it's not only what represents us as Christians. In this, in the fight between Ukraine and Russia, the Russians had marked all their, all their vehicles with a Z sign. Now, the Z sign is a sign for victory. It was used, the, the, the beginnings of it was when, when, was when the USSR was in place. So the Z sign, whenever you see any car of DS and it has a Z sign, automatically it has a, it has a, a brainwashing power that tells the soldiers that we already, we already have victory. The cross is not only a symbol of us and for us as Christians. The cross and the activities that Jesus did on the cross has more to give. The cross has more to give. The cross has more to give. And the Bible says that it is important that we make this mind that was in Christ be in us also. The Bible says that this is what, what, what Jesus did. This is what happened to him. And he's encouraging us to also have it. He says that who being in the form of God, Jesus, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Verse 7, but one, one, the first one, he made himself of no reputation. 
Jesus, please follow me. Jesus intentionally decided to make himself of no reputation. What does it mean? It means that everything that brought glory to Jesus, he personally took it away. He made himself. He was not made to do so. He made himself of no, of no reputation. If you knew Eja and you respect Eja, and Eja comes to this place, and when you, I mean, you enter the, the, the room, and Eja doesn't have a shirt on, he, he perhaps doesn't have a trouser on, and he only has a boxer here, and you gradually, the, the, the reputation around him, you, he, he decides to throw it away. It has a way, it, it will cause you to look at him and see him, and even this ministry. The Bible says that Jesus made himself of no reputation. How? Taking the form of a born servant and coming in the likeness of men. It means that Jesus becoming a man in itself alone was a degradation. It says he made himself, he, he made himself of no reputation and he took upon himself the place of a born servant coming in the likeness of men, reducing himself to, to, the, to the temptations and to the limitations of man. Follow, follow me. Now, the Bible says in the verse 8, it says, after he had done all these things and been found in the appearance as a man, he still humbled himself. Please, let's go back to verse, verse 7. What did Jesus do on the cross? Jesus first made himself of no reputation. If I was wearing a tie and a suit, this would have been a perfect, uh, um, you know, illustration. Jesus made himself of no reputation. <laughs> I love that song. It says, Say yes, we mommy, or the name quantum or mommy, eh, yeah, I want to, or do benny, or do benny, or do benny, or do benny, eh, I want Say yes, we mommy, or the name quantum or mommy. Say yes, we mommy. I didn't want to all mommy. has been invited to come and preach at a day with him. Man of God. And Jesus has come in his white kaftan, a man of reputation, a man of some level of respect. Then Jesus, who had come with respect, the Bible says that he made himself of no reputation. What is he talking about? And he, and taking the form of a born servant, the, the explanation could be like this. I have come as a, perhaps, as a, maybe some, form, some level of reputation. And I'm properly dressed. I'm coming to preach. What Jesus did on the cross, follow me, was that Jesus picked, man of God, you could help me and open my, my cook up for me. Now, Jesus picked what Patrick did sometime back when there was nobody there, you know, when, when you were not there, when you couldn't, you couldn't have seen. What, what Bishop Chumesi did when nobody was around and Jesus making himself of no reputation. He said, okay, now all that you have done, I understand, but why I have come is to make myself of no reputation and to pick of your servanthood and put it on myself. So Jesus makes himself of no reputation. And your sins, my sins, if this was something that could soil this, Jesus puts it on himself. He looks at Patrick's life and he says, I've taken it. I've taken it. I've taken it. He looks at my last and he says, put that one on me. It's fine. I can take it. He looks at my disbelief and he says, it's okay. You, you can soil this place. I have it. I, I got you. I, it's fine. It's fine. So a man who had come to the place with some level of reputation, he stands in front of all that could have respected him. And he says, it's fine. Soil me up. It's fine. 
and I see the angels in heaven telling Jesus, ah, but this is just a preaching. He said, you don't have to do all this. Thing. We have to clean all these things. We have to clean this place. Jesus tells them, they are men, but it's worth it. If my sex is so important that you think that perhaps it's just a preaching, you don't have to do this, then Jesus tells God and tells the angels the same thing. True mercy is worth this. It's worth it. Jared is worth this. He's, he's worth it. He, so that if I should go home and my wife should ask me, Jesus will tell God, it's worth it. For that one young lady in a day with him, for that lady's sake, it's worth it. It's worth it. Even if, even if I should still sit in it and make myself much more of no reputation, Jesus says that it's worth it. It's worth it. It's good. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. I've seen a man of God do this. It's fine. It's, fi- it's worth it. It's worth it. He's worth it. She's worth it. It's good enough. It is not, it is not an insult. It is good enough. She's worth it. He is worth it. Jesus says, I, I make myself of no reputation. It's, it, it's, it's good enough. Maybe some of them I cannot do. If, if I could have done, I should have taken this off. And still, it would be worth it. The Bible says that Jesus made himself of no reputation. If I had any reputation, if I could do worse than this, I perhaps might have done it so that you understand that it was worth it for you. It is worth it. It is worth it. It is worth it. Now, the Bible says that he made himself, he made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of man. Verse, verse 8, verse 8. The Bible says, and being found in the appearance as a man, he humbled himself still and became obedient to the point of death, even the death on the cross. All for you. All for you. Look, you must understand that you are worth it. A day with him is worth it. Jesus will do it again and again. He will go to the cross again and again and again for you if he has to do it because you are worth it but that is not my message verse 9 he says therefore I'm, te- I'm, I'm teaching about the crucifixion and I'm bringing to you a mystery hidden inside the crucifixion the bible says therefore whenever you are reading the bible and you see a therefore you must ask of the wherefore because therefore explains eh, the words that come after therefore explains what has happened already. The Bible says, therefore, when people read this scripture and they just start from therefore, I have a problem. Because then you wouldn't have given this therefore a context. The Bible says, therefore, what is the wherefore? For all that Jesus has been through, he said, therefore, or because of these things, God has exalted, highly exalted him and given him a name. Of all the things that Jesus did, man of God, He's coming to die on the cross. His, the way they slapped him, the, 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 the saliva, that, how much they spat on him, all that Jesus did, God gave him a reward. Aye. God, God rewarded Jesus. The Bible says that after Jesus had done all he did, God did one thing. The Bible says, and God has highly exalted him. And I thought that when God was going to exalt Jesus, maybe God will give Jesus a car. But he did not do that. God will give Jesus some gold. He didn't do that. I thought God will give Jesus some human beings. He didn't do that. The Bible says that God, follow me, follow me. He said, God has highly exalted him and given him the name. The emphasis there is not a name. The emphasis there is the name. It means that there was a name hidden and stored in heaven. In heaven, there was a name kept somewhere. That is why he said death name. That name was untouched. And after Jesus had done all he did, God said, okay, fine, I'll reward this man. And I will give him, it's as if he's calling the angels. Jesus has done this for us, right? Okay, go around. Go into the boxes. Go into the treasury. And go and bring death name. Don't bring a name. There is a particular kind of name hidden for anybody who is able to do this. So go and bring their name. It says, for God has highly 
exalted him and given him the name, which is, so there is a particular name which is above all other names, every other name, names in the heavens, names on earth, and names under the earth. And that name is what Jesus, God rewarded Jesus with. I am here to tell you that in the crucifixion came a name. I'm saying that in the process of the crucifixion, something was birthed. That what was birthed was the name. And the Bible says that that name is, is greater than every other name in heaven and those names on earth and the names under the earth. And this is my word, verse 11. It says that, follow me. It says that, and, and, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord. To the, mm. Please, let's go back to verse 10. It says, let's go to verse 9. Please follow me. I'm finishing. This is my, so please follow me. It says, therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Every name, where? 10. That at the name of Jesus, so the name is Jesus. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. And every, I mean, every knee should bow of those in heaven, of those on earth, and of those under the earth. Verse 11. And that every time shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. Principle number one that we talked about is that God will share his son. God will share his image. God will share his likeness. God will share his power. God will share his spirit. God will share his creation. There is one thing God will not share. What it is? Follow me. We want to put the two together. Now, God, oh, the only thing in scripture that God will not share is what? Something came out. Something came out of the crucifixion. Something came out. And what came out? God has also given that to us. It is his name. Now, the Bible says that God will not share, God bless you, man of God. God will not share his glory. He can share everything, but not his glory. The Bible says that after Jesus had gone through all he, all he went through, God gave him a name that at the mention of the name, every knee on earth, in heaven, under the earth, shall bow. When the names bow or don't bow, please, verse 11. Whether the names will bow or not bow, verse 11. Thank you, Lord. Now, he said, and that, please follow me, and that every time shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. It means that when the name Jesus is mentioned, the price that God had given to Jesus in the crucifixion is that he has a name. He says, please come. Today you have become Jesus. It's a blessing. Man of God, you are the whitest Jesus we've ever seen. Is it working? It's working. So God tells his son, look, for what you have done, I have given you a price. And that price, follow me. And that price is that I've given you a name, the name, the name, Jesus. And now at the mention of the name, every knee in heaven, on earth, under the earth must bow. And, and when the name comes, when the knees bow or don't bow, it will to the glory of the Father. When the name of Jesus is mentioned, the Bible says that the name is mentioned to the, the effect. What must happen must connote to the glory of the Father. Let me read that scripture for you again. And that every time shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. At the mention of the name of Jesus. Now, it means that at the mention of the name of Jesus, something should happen that should connote to the glory of the Father. I have also discussed with you our first principle is that the only thing God will not share is what? In heaven. Therefore, through the crucifixion, this is what happens. When a man, my brother, please come. This is not true. But let's just use this as an example. Let's say that you are sickness. If you were sickness, you are not. What sickness do you think you would have been? You are thinking about a nice sickness. <laughs> you, you mentioned one. Arthritis. Do you know what arthritis is? 
<laughs> well, somebody says what? Money sickness. Is it that you'll be sick not having money or you'll be sick with having too much money? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so let's say that you are a headache. Please follow me. In the crucifixion, something came out. As we are learning about the crucifixion, see, it is important that we understand that as we dwell with God, he brings us the nugget that makes us different. As we stay with God, as we search for him, he brings us nuggets that makes our life different from them that may not know him. The Bible says that Jesus, for all what he did, God gave him only one thing. Only one thing. He awarded him with only one thing. He said, God says, I have given you the name. And that at the mention of the name, every knee shall bow. Knees in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. To the glory of the Father. So if you are a Christian, and you are, God forbid, you are arthritis, and you are, you are arthritis, you are attacking the Christian, you can attack. You are definitely showing signs. <laughs> now, did I say you are Jesus or you are a Christian? Which of them do you want? I want to be Jesus. You want to be Jesus? Choose a Christian. You look like a Christian, so please come. Now, now if I, if I, I, I think you look like you are, you are the whitest guy around, so you can be God. My, my brother, come. You are God enough. Oh, you are a Christian. Come. Now, so this is God. Please follow. Please follow. You will be here. You are God. No. You are Jesus, right? You are God. Let's say that God is taller and bigger than Jesus. This is what, what the crucifixion has brought you. That crucifixion, the thing that was done on the cross, what it has brought you, is what I want you to cut from here, from what we read. Now, you are Jesus. You are a Christian. You are arthritis. You are God. The Bible says that. Now, of all that Jesus did, of all the things he went through, the reward that God has given him is that God, God did not give him a car. God did not give him a new heaven. The Bible says that, and, and therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him God has highly exalted Jesus and in reward of his high exaltation, God has given him their name. The name that is above all names. Names in heaven, names on the earth, and names under the earth. And that at the mention of the name. The Bible says every knee on earth, in heaven, and under shall bow. And every tongue shall confess to the glory of the Father. I've also discussed with you, there's only one thing God will not share. And that is his glory. When arthritis is attacking the Christian, this is what happens in your life every day. I pray that the, crucif the, the, the revelation of the crucifixion, which is the name of Jesus, will reach you today. Amen. Whether it is arthritis, examination, marriage, whatever it is that attacks a Christian, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Things wrestle us. So whatever it's yours, it is here. When that thing attacks the Christian, attack her, and now that she's a lady, be gentle. Now, now, as the thing is attacking her, and a Christian who has come to a day with him, what would that Christian do? The Christian will pray. So pray. Okay, the Christian prays. You see, this is the reason why it's important. Sometimes, we who are young and we love to pray, you hear people who pray, Amen. You've lost. You've lost. You've lost out. You've lost out. The Bible says that, so when... When, when the arthritis is attacking the Christian, because you're a lady, the thing is not working. So maybe, maybe you should attack me. I'm not a new Christian, don't worry. And, and attack me properly, oh, before I push the arthritis away. <laughs> and, and, and the sickness, the pain, the trouble, the broken heart, the, 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 the poverty, whatever, is attacking the Christian. And the Christian prays, in the name of Jesus, something happens. Something happens. The Bible says that now God has given the, Jesus what? The name. And the name was given to the glory of the Christian. Aya. To the glory of Eja. 
so that a jam must be powerful so that when he mentions in the name of Jesus something will happen the Bible says so the glory is to a jam what about the church what about the preacher what about the Christian what about Jesus himself who is the glory going to and the Bible says there is one thing the father will not share with any man any, any, any creator what is that thing his glory so when the Christian mentions in the name of Jesus the father's anger is pricked the only thing he will not say is now in contest. I, you see, the crucifixion has brought you something. And that, the only thing the father, he can say everything. The only thing the father will not say, arthritis now contains God. Ah. Poverty now contains God. Uh, uh, boyfriend contains God. Examination now contains God. So when the Christian is praying and is praying, that is why the Bible says, when you pray in my name, Jesus specifically says, when you pray, pray in my name. It is not for any, it is not for nothing. He says, You must pray in my name. Why? Because he has been given the name. And at the mention of the name of Jesus, everything is about to the glory of their father. Let's try it again. The Christian is going through issues, whatever is your issue. Look, even if there is no issue, but it's intimacy you want with God. And you need intimacy and things are, are crowding you and taking your attention away. As you pray, whether you are praying loud or, or, or quiet. Makada, emanose, gradipente, alabandaya. As you are praying all this prayer, things can be happening. But the alarm clock has not been set in heaven yet. Makunafe, Aranko Tabai, Avusafate, Akon Nevelebe, Pradabadaba. In the name of Jesus, the, the son will tell the father, please, the name you give me has been mentioned. Your glory is at stake. Will you stand there and be aloof? Will you stand there and do nothing? Guess what God will do? The battle will not be between the Christian and the issue again. The battle will not be between the issue and Jesus. Now, the battle becomes between the issue and Papa God himself because his glory is being contended. This came out of the crucifixion. From the crucifixion, a name was given. Look, when you are praying, eh, when you see the sickness, all we need to get to where God wants us to do is that we'll pray and we'll worship. And in worshiping, we'll just shout. It, many Christians have under, we have underrated the name of Jesus. We, we, we have played down the name of Jesus. It, we, we have played down. We, we have treated the name of Jesus as though it counts to nothing in heaven. We, we have, man of God, we have, we have shouted. We are shouted in things, but when it has to do with the name of Jesus, our understanding of the name of Jesus, which came from the crucifixion, is lost in the church. So when men even say it, they don't, they don't understand. But the Bible says that after all that Jesus did, God gave him one thing. God gave him the name. His name is Jesus. He's the king of kings. His name is Jesus. He's the Lord of lost. Help me sing. He is Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, his name is he. Yeah, his name is he. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Manamata. Do you understand the name? Do you understand it? Hey, his name is Jesus. Understand the name. Understand it. Yeah. Jesus.
crucifixion for all that Jesus did God gave him a name the name and the Bible says that when you mention that name every knee is mandated to bow when you mention that name everything that has a name must bow to that name why because the father's glory is at stake it came from the crucifixion it came from the crucifixion it came from the crucifixion now before we pray i want to ask you a few questions is sickness no let me ask it this way can sickness contend with god Can pain contend with God? Can worry? I don't know. I'm not sure what, what worries. One of God, that building cannot contend with His glory. Even if it is hundred billion dollars, all you need to do, thank you, in the name, it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. Why? Because as soon as you mention that name, God's alarm clock ticks and he rises up and he's asking, you see, what do you mention the name? God is watching. He's just watching the behavior of the thing you have mentioned the name for and he's watching. Can you contend with me? Do we need microphones? All you need to do. Thank you, Lord, for the microphones in the name of Are you looking for a good man? All you need to do. Mekantina vrakos apendi kotai ati bakum puti tatata bakaya pianiya produce afekete atu potai ariane kapai baswato po ati badin tatata katose vete pai atu se flaya rakuso pampa apembe da pia gradi 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 avagado se pekatiya graden maya bayanto koto reda de. In the name of you see, when you understand this and you go to church and we are praying, and the one leading the prayer, he shouts in the name of you would not think that it is useful as two brands because you understand the power in the name. I don't have to be powerful, I don't have to be powerful because the glory does not even come to me. I, I, I don't have to be anointed. Why? Because the glory, the battle is not with me. When I mention the name, somebody's glory is at stake. He has specifically told us one thing I will not say. And I will not say with the devil. I will not say with failure. I will not say with sickness. I will not say with pain. I will not say with trouble. I will not say it. I will not say it. Yes, I don't know why you are sitting down. You ever say, Open some new men in a row? Say, I'm born to the boy. And send me, baby, yes, she. Yes, I say, I'm born to the boy. And send me, baby, yes, she. I'm 
feeling that, calm down. It takes away the burden of feeling that I'm not anointed enough. Very soon, when we come to a day with him, every one of us will be healing the sick. Aye. Every one of us, every one of us. And yeah, all you need to do is that you show up and you say, Why is the cripple? Why is, why is the cripple? Then, then you tell the lady there, put your hand on the cripple. All you need to do, look, and I've, I've taken my time to share the scripture with you. All you need to do, cripple, be healed in the Somebody is not following me. Cripple, be healed. How? How? In the name of. Now, 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 now. now. What, what will happen? What will happen? Now, cripplenes does not fight your word. Cripplenes does not fight. With, it doesn't contend with Jesus. It contends the glory of God. Right there, God will arise, and He says, "Cripplenes." Don't you know that I've said in the book of Isaiah 48 that I will say everything but my glory? I tell you in one minute. Very soon, with this understanding, when we come, one will lay hands on the other, receive the Holy Ghost, receive intimacy, receive tenacity. And in the name of Jesus, it will work. It will work. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want us to activate that name. Do you know how he came? Through the crucifixion. He came by what Jesus did. The name is God's price for Jesus. The name is God's reward for Jesus. I want you to celebrate, worship, adore that name in the next 20 minutes. Lift up prayer and adore that name. That name. That name. That name. That name. name. Adore the name. Exalt the name. Uplift the name, exalt the name, the name that is the glory, the name that is the prize that Jesus paid on the cross. The name, the name, the name, the name, the name, the name. Enjoy, exalt, romance, exalt, worship, uplift the name. Don't uplift any other thing. The name. Lift up prayer, lift up prayer, exalt the name, 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 lift up prayer right now. Kapatina, Rakwa Safakos, Epenem Kati, Rabatia Takatala, Rede de Bedebe, Atose, Apayale, 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 Exalt the name, Exalt the name, Grada Dada, Upon Nemo, Upon Nemo, Upon Nemo, Upon Nemo, Gradiba die, Gradiba die, Gradiba die, Gradiba die, Gradiba die, Abandonaya, 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 Akam. I got my toe, 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 I got exalt the name, exalt the name, exalt the name, magnify the name, exalt the name, rather than I die, rather than I die, what why, what why, what why, what why, what why.
Kaleba, Ayo, Ayo, Kimanai, 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 Kenene, 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 Kiaba, 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 Payalwai, 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 Gradada, 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 Gradada. I pray that you will understand the power in this name. I wish that you will see the investment God has placed by tying his glory to the mention of this name. Is it because if you fully understand from today, that name Jesus, it will be a weapon in your hand. If you truly, if you truly understand from today that You see, the, the human examples we can give in assemblies like this, where Jesus is the focus, will defeat the purpose. But I can assure you, because of the association of the name with God's glory, the name of Jesus can bring man anything he's looking for, including intimacy. Including intimacy. That you will understand the name. That you will understand. The Bible says that, Project that scripture again. It says that, and verse 11, it says that, and every tongue should confess. Verse 10 says, every knee shall bow. We will deal with knees, knees that rise against your intimacy with Christ, knees that rise against your growth in this spiritual walk. We will deal with them. How do you deal with them? You, you activate where God has placed his interest. He says that in the name of Jesus, by the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and of, of, of those in heaven, and of those on earth, and of those under the earth. Verse 11, and he says, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is the Lord. Every tongue shall confess to the glory of the Father. And the Father says, my glory, I will not share with anybody. If you have anything contending with you today, you are in the right place. For you will activate the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm telling you, you don't have to feel anointed. 
The name of Jesus is anointing enough. You don't have to, you don't have to be a healer. The name of Jesus is healing enough. You don't have to be a man of breakthrough. The name of Jesus is able to bring enough breakthroughs. It's, in the, it's able. It's able. It's able. The name is able. Why? Because it's connected with the glory of the Father. When the name is mentioned, the glory of the Father is at stake. I'm going to give you 30 minutes. Just 30 minutes. Or maybe for want of time, 20 minutes. You are calling everything that disturbs your growth in Christ. You are dealing with anything that rises against your intimacy with Christ. And you are dealing with, you see some of us, the thing that rises against your intimacy is that sickness. The thing has been there for so long and you've prayed about it for so long. And so it is making you think as though God is not able to heal. There are people who come for prayer meetings who don't believe that God, they believe in a doctor more than Jesus. They believe, they, be, they can be praying, but deep down in their heart, they really don't think the prayer will work. They don't, they don't believe that. <laughs> Anything that contains your intimacy with God, you are, you are leveraging on the name of Jesus. I said, all you needed to do is to mention the name. And the glory of the Father will cause him to arise on your behalf. All this is from the crucifixion. In the next 20 minutes, you are dealing with altars. You are dealing with situations. You are dealing with troubles. You are dealing with pains. You are dealing with obstacles towards that, that prevent your, your growth in Christ. You are dealing with sicknesses. You are dealing with, with troubles in families. You are dealing with them. And you are dealing with them by the name of Jesus. Let prayer arise. Activate the power in the name of Jesus. Activate the power in the name of Jesus. Activate the power in the name of Jesus. Activate the power. Activate the power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Activate the power in the name of Jesus. Activate the power in the name of Jesus. Bring it out, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. At the mention of the name. Activate the power in the name. My brother, activate the power in the name of Jesus. Barakusa Palibadai, activate the power. Ayane Mananosa, Rade, 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 Komani Mananosa Vladi. Anna manama sa 
Understand, understand, understand. You see, whenever we do this thing, in the name of something happens in heaven. For God is not a liar. The Bible says that for God has lifted up his word above his name. The only thing that is lifted above this name is his word. For God has lifted up his word above his name. And it is the word that tells us that God will not let anybody contend with his name. It works hand in hand. So when you mention the name of Jesus, see it. Literally see the drama that happened here. The name of Jesus, God rises and he looks at the malaria. He looks at the sickness and he asks the sickness, do you dare contain my glory? The glory of healing, do you dare contain it with me? And let's see if any sickness is able to contain with God. Let's see. We are activating the name of Jesus for this ministry. This ministry. By May, we will be two years. Something dramatic, a clear evidence that the Lord has visited this ministry. Look, I have seen clear miracles before. I have a friend in the States. He came to Ghana and he said, I mean, he just said, oh, I'm coming to pay a visit and blah, blah, blah. Now, he, had, he said, he said, God had told him to pick $85,000 from his account the guy is a Pentecost member but the Lord had instructed him to pick $85,000 from his account and bring it to another church here in Ghana he said, he said God told me pick $85,000 from your account go to this ministry go to the church tell the pastor that I want to take care of children and, and give that money to the pastor <laughs> we need cameras all we need is the name of Jesus what, who, whether the person is in the, in the US that the Lord will that name will pray God and call you go and buy six cameras for a day with him buy two cars start a building 
They need, don't let them be talking about money on the, on the TV. Let no people even see that we are talking about money. I am able to cater for them. God is able to, all will be activated simply by the name of Jesus. And it works. It works. So we are, we are, we are activating this, the power in the name of Jesus for this ministry. I don't know what you want to see in, the, in this ministry in our second year. I don't know. I know what I know. But I want, to, I want you to let, lift up that thing. Whether it is an increase in impact. Whether it is provision. Whether it is, I don't know what it is. Whether it is the man of God over the ministry. Whatever it is. Pray it in the name of Jesus. And let's give ourselves from now up until what, what may. What day in May. 27 May. Please, you see, when we come to pray, we must make our, we must give, it must be clear, God, this is what I ask for. If you want to go deep in, 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 in Christ, it shouldn't be, just say, take me deeper. No, no. If it is the scriptures you want to understand, God, open the scriptures to me. When it opens, you will be able to measure. You'll be able to tell that I've gone deeper in scripture. If it is prayer, you want to pray, as long as this man prays, God, to, before I come back to a day with him, I want to pray 14 hours non-stop. Measure your progress. Measure. 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 Don't just come and we are all seeking. And you come and you know that last year, last month, you were the same. And you are here. And we are saying we are going deep. No. Measure it. If it is prayer that you want to go deeper, measure it. God, by the next time I come, I want to pray 100 hours. Measure it. If it is the word, measure it. If it is giftings, giftings, measure it. Then the BFS say, but the prophecies are coming out. The healings are taking place. Then, and it will work, 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 it will happen, it will happen, it will happen. You are activating the name of Jesus for this ministry. And pray specific prayers. After this, I'll do a few declarations, specific ones. Testimonies must be apparent. It must be so wild here. Wild, 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 wild testimonies. Wild, clear testimonies. Wild, wild. And it will happen. How? Ah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm not sure if those upstairs are with us. How? In the name of Jesus. I still don't know if they are part of a just children. I'm not sure. How would it happen? How? In the name of Jesus. Look at somebody and shake them. How would it happen? How? In the name of Jesus. Look at the lady who is tired and shake them. How would it happen? How? In the name of Jesus. Look at the gentleman who is sitting. Shake them. How would it happen? In the name of Jesus. But the master says that I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory, I will not share with any man. Does somebody believe God? Is there anybody in this house who believes God? I'm not sure. Is there just one person who believes that whatever God says, he does. And what he does, he says. How many of us also believe that when we mention the name of Jesus, the glory of God is at stake? Mention the name of God, the name of Jesus for this ministry. Mention the name. Activate the name of Jesus for a day with him. Lift up prayer. Something tangible. Something tangible. Something measurable. Lift up prayer. Something measurable. Activate the name of Jesus for this ministry. Prayer nikata abra tu sapanamanai. Impact, 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 impact. National impact. Global impact. National impact. Global impact. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Understand it. Understand it. But whenever that name is mentioned, God's glory is at stake. And the Bible says that I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory, I will not share with any man. My glory. I will not. Now, I want to deal with the issues. Quickly, and we are gone. I want to deal with the issues. I told you. When we mention the name, it is God who comes into the ring. When we mention the name, the battle becomes God's because the glory is His. That is what the word of God says. Especially to brothers and sisters who are watching us from all across the globe. In fact, man of God, respectfully, I feel led that we do this prayer. Anybody, we are activating the word of God in the name of Jesus. Anybody who enters any of the entrances of a day with him, specifically sicknesses, any kind of sickness that has a name, whether it is a sickness established in heaven, on earth or under the earth, from today, whether you enter the rooms of a day with him on, on, online or here, in the name of Jesus, anybody that accesses this platform, whether in person or virtually, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. lives without sickness. In the name of Jesus, lives without sickness. In the name of Jesus, lives without sickness. A life with Him shall be a place of random, weird healings, weird miracles, weird healings. Right. Now, look, look, come down, come down, come down. Let's pray what we have learned. You see, when I say the things, eh, all you need to say is just one. In the name, and understand it. For when we mention that name, somebody's glory is at stake. Anywhere a jar goes, and a day with him is being spoken against, his glory is at stake. In fact, when he is, 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 is insulted, the ministry is at stake. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, it is the same thing that happens to God. The only currency he will not trade with anything. It becomes a stick when the name is mentioned. I, I pray that you will go home with this understanding. In the name of Jesus. It will change the way you, when you are praying and you mention, the, a particular kind of confidence will enter your heart. It will give you superiority complex over the devil. In the name Simply, of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As simple as that, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And picture it. See God rising and say, Yabudi, you know. See. Hey. See. In the name of Jesus. One day, by the grace of God, I visited South Korea. Those times, Dr. Yongiche, Yongicho, David Yongicho was still alive. We went for a conference. I was sponsored by a Russian missions team in China to participate. When I went there, the whole time, the man preached only twice. The only thing he preached is that in my, he said, in my walk with the Lord, what the Lord has taught me is something called visions and dreams. Visions and dreams. And he taught us to understand that when you pray, you must visualize your prayer. You must see it. You must see the prayer work. If you are looking for intimacy with God, you must literally see Jesus come to you. 
utilize your men, your your mind, the, the, your sense, your spiritual and, and 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 mental senses. Visualize it in prayer. When you are praying with, for intimacy, you see Jesus come to you. See him hug you. See it. The Bible says that when God wanted to change the life of Abraham, He brought him outside. He said, "See, see, count it, count it, count it. See, 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 see. You need to see it." And so whenever you mention the name of Jesus from today, when you mention, see heaven, see God, Papa God, rise up and come in. That is the reason why the Bible says, you see, of all the commandments, there is only one that the Bible says that if, it says, for if you mention the name of God in vain, you will not go guiltless. It's only that one that the, the, the Lord will hold you for it. Why? Because the name causes an alarm in heaven. The name of Jesus causes an alarm in heaven. And so we are taking that prayer again. Man of God, from today, anybody, even if they did not know, even if they did not know this covenant in this house, random, rapid, radical, weird healings. Five, somebody, somebody is not flowing yet. Somebody doesn't Jesus. understand. I said random, radical, weird healings. In the name of Jesus. Random, radical, weird healings. In the name of Jesus. Online and in person. In the name of Jesus. Every kind of sickness. In the name of Jesus. That enters these platforms. In the name of Jesus. Is dissolved. In the name of Jesus. Is dissolved. In the name of Jesus. Fibro dissolved. In the name of Jesus. Hepatitis B dissolved. In the name of Jesus. Malaria dissolved. In the name of Jesus. But pain dissolved. Jesus. Arthritis dissolve in the name of Jesus. Blood pressures dissolve in the name of Jesus. Heart issues dissolve in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Father's glory is at stake. This ministry shall be known for radical, rapid, weird feelings. In the yes. name of Jesus. Online and in person. In the name of Jesus. You don't even have to pray. When you enter, in the we set this step down. We lay, we lay an offering on this. We lay an offering on this. The value of the offering, I'll tell you. We lay an offering on this. Anybody who wants to join me in this, in this offering, you can. We lay an offering. We lay an offering on this. We lay an offering on this. We lay an offering on this. Man of God, we lay an offering on this. Any, any kind of heat, sickness that enters this house, whether online or in person, in the, in name, the name of, of Jesus, Jesus, is dissolved. In the name of Jesus. Oh. Oh, it works. How does it work? In the name of Jesus. How does it work? In the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands into heaven. Lift up your two hands into heaven. And touch the keyboard. Now, anything that wrestles against your intimacy with Christ. Some of you, it is laziness. Some of us, it is busyness. You are so busy. The entrapments of this life. Some of us, it is, it is guilt, guilt, guilt. You feel so guilty about things. Some of you, it is the voice of condemnation in your heart. You feel so condemned. You feel God doesn't even love you anymore. Some of you, it is the entrapment of failure, 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 failure. So when you actually come before God, you're not encouraged, you're discouraged. Some of you, it's a blockade, it's the, it is the, it's the blindness of the eyes of your hearts. So that the mysteries of this goodness in Christ Jesus is not known to you. And it suffocates your growth in this, in this, in this Christ, in this, in this, in this kingdom. We activate the power in the name of Jesus right now. Anything fighting the intimacy that a, a person would ever have with Jesus, we activate the name of Jesus against that thing. Anything that fights your access into the throne room of God, we activate the name of Jesus against that thing. Anything that, that restricts your access into hearing the things and seeing God and having a time and intimacy with him, we we activate the name of Jesus against that thing. 
the things that makes the power of Jesus and his love for you minimized in life the things that make you not trust and believe him in the name of Jesus we speak against it 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 now in the name of Jesus I pray and hand into your hands your testimony of God's realness in your life yes <laughs> in the name of Jesus we release into your hands your own testimony of God's goodness in your life we release into your hands your own testimony of the sweetness of intimacy with Christ we release it into your hands yes 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 both in person and online right now 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 in the name of Jesus right now 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 in the name of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus now in the name of Jesus we pray that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you shall know Jesus and you shall know the depth and the width and the breadth of his love and you shall know the truth and the mystery of your calling in the name of Jesus we open you into destiny we open you up unto 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 purpose we open you up unto destiny we open you up unto destiny we open you up unto purpose in the name of Jesus everything that restricts your access into the deep and the depth of Christ we destroy it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus from today you are a changed man a man who knows Jesus for himself a woman who knows Jesus for herself in the name of Jesus shout a big amen hallelujah 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 will it work how will it work is it working how is it working moon to Sing that part again. Moon to Yehovah. Yes, and yeah. I want to sing it this way. Met to Yehovah.
is working for you. On the name of Christ, in Tabia. Oh, no. Ah, 
to die so anything that should be alive in your life must be alive any situation that is acting dead does not have permission because he died and he did not just die for us us and what is ours us and what is ours so any any situation that needs life this minute any situation that needs life this minute. Oh, 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 we, mommy. Look at that situation. My day, my Oh, 
send this song. Ya me a yi ni do e di. O a ti kwa na ma ye. O di na che ye. O di na. The beauty of his birth is that it was unto death. O di na che ye. But for it.
Yes, come and drink. Adena, tell you. heavens and in the earth so that at the name Jesus anyone that calls upon the name of Jesus shall be saved anyone that calls on the name of Jesus shall be saved the essence of his death is so that we shall be saved not only in eternity or into glory but even while we live on earth that even while we live in this life that we shall live in peace abundantly not because we necessarily merit it, but because he paid at the cost of his blood, at the price of blood, spotless blood, not tainted blood, or blood that had connived with wrongdoing. Spotless, clean, clean. Jesus Christ, a minute and appreciate Jesus appreciate Christ for our salvation let us thank God for our salvation that Jesus accepted that even at the last minute when he could have chosen out if he had shake if he had shaken himself a little he says that it is not in your hands it is I who lays my life because even as I then he can he, if he if he requested there will be legends of angels released to come and change the situation it could have been done but he loved us let us appreciate him forget about whatever is not happening or whatever you are looking for There's power in the blood of Jesus. 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 We are not only cleansed and saved for heaven, but on earth, there is peace for us. There's salvation for us, for our souls. There's salvation for us. There's salvation for us. So we want to 
acknowledge the power in the blood and appreciate Christ for such a great gift. This song we are looking we are targeting fear 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 and anybody that has been threatened with death fear and threats fear and threats we are singing over these fear and threats fear and threats fear and threats fear and threats, fear and threats. Fear and threats. We are Bravo! 